Let's do record. Gus <sighs> Fraba. Gus Fraba. All right, we're back. Another week with the Sketchbook Heroes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yay! <laughs> I said it weird. Yes. Welcome back to the Sketchbook Heroes podcast with me, Ilyas. And me, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and this is episode 141. 41. Exactly. The big Fru- one for one. Fruno? <laughs> no. no. Fruno Mars? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> None of that. Got to do the puns or what is that? Abbreviations? No. It's mm-hmm. not a, mm-hmm. uh, whatever mm-hmm. it is. No. <laughs> Talking myself into a hole. Uh, yeah. How you been, bro? <laughs> All good. All good. <laughs> Sober today. Yes. Ish. So weird. Yeah. Because uh, on the Discord, they called out all our, you know, repeats. Oh, or yeah. The things that we say. <laughs> and then I was like, shit, the next episode, we're going to be so self-conscious. And then we got drunk mm-hmm. and all that didn't matter. Out the window. <laughs> Out the window. <laughs> no shame. Never self-conscious. <laughs> so drinking helps. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, with that said, sorry for being extremely fucking drunk last time. That was horrible. Dude, you cut off all uh, most of the, the, the yeah. bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bad stuff means just, you know, when one word becomes a sentence. Uh-huh. Rather, like. <laughs> and I had something to say about everything all the time. It was, well, the opposite of hilarious. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to save it. I did the best as I could. And, well, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've done nothing. Go in and rate us. <laughs> <laughs> five out of five. <laughs> yes. How drunk were we? Uh, yeah, exactly. So use the, <laughs> use the, the rating system <laughs> to dr- rate how drunk we were. The drunken meter. That yes. would be fun. Like all the ratings <laughs> on the, the, the iTunes store. It's just like they were really drunk. <laughs> five out of five. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> you're welcome, internets. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, sorry. Yes. You yeah, were but saying? I've done nothing. Like I'm, I'm really trying to sort of like from working like 15 to 16 hour days to working normal days now. But I am so exhausted, you know, mentally and I don't know. Like I'm not really physically tired. But I just, you know, I was pushing it for so long that I just now I just feel like I don't want to do anything. Mm-hmm. Like I'm so anti everything. Oh, like, well, I'm with you. So, yeah, 100%. that's where I am. I tried drawing this weekend. Didn't work. <laughs> so yeah. I was just like, eh, I'll just download a video game. I think you did a wise choice. Very good. Very good. Yeah. No, same with uh, with me. And last week I did nothing. Just working and uh, also tired for some reason, like all the time. Mm -hmm. Probably mentally tired as well. Uh, But yeah, really been struggling just getting out of bed. Ooh, that kind of tired. Okay. Like just don't want to do anything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, It might be because like work is picking up again and I've been used to more of the slow pace. Yeah. Uh, and like the stress of not making money and all of that has always helped. And now it's like going back to normal or rather becoming used to not making money. <laughs> and now all of a sudden it's like, I guess too much. But it's really not like it's not that much, but it's just more than it's more than you're it's used been. to. Yeah. yeah. I love how that sort of affects you in different ways, you mm-hmm. know, like. When everything is going fine, life is boring and, you know, you lose something. And yeah. then when it's going shit, you're really creative or like, yeah, 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 yeah. just like how life is never just good. You know what I mean? Like oh, it's it never, hard to really. Yeah. That's why I'm like dreading retirement because <laughs> oh, it sounds like think, the dream, but it's also like my worst nightmare. But I don't think like, I mean, we would never be bored. I think that is the thing. Like, oh, I'll have more time to do everything because you know it still won't be enough time yeah like, i think that's the common like just thinking ahead in yeah. time like the amount of awesome video games that there's going to be available at that and, like time, what yeah. type of video games there are going to be we're never going to be bored nope. like vr is probably like, we are never going to be bored oh dude no that was <laughs> it's a russian joke uh, uh, let's move on uh, <laughs> yeah yeah uh, <laughs> intro song? <laughs> Are we doing the intro song now? Yeah. <laughs> After you visit the Discord, that can be found through the Sketchbook Heroes Instagram. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are on top of our game today. Yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm so out of it. <laughs> Let's go. Hit the the lasers, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Artists of the world unite. Step out of your comfort zone into the danger zone. Oh, shit, we totally forgot to introduce what we're going to talk about. Cool that's stuff. what we're doing now. And that's what we're doing now. We are back on fire with this <laughs> amazing topic. Small amazing. <laughs> yes. Small amazing. Small amazing. And today we're going to talk about having like, or mentors and mentorship and, you know, however, like, whatever type of sort of motivation and guidance you can get through your art career. Because you and me, we've never had mentors in that way, but we've always had each other. Yeah. You know, it's like playing Street Fighter with a friend. Sometimes you win and then you start winning and then he starts winning, you know, or she. And it's that type of exchange. And our art careers have been that, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, you can draw that? Then I can oh, learn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So exactly. you, you really just try to outdo each other. And that has been... I guess the the thing between us, you know, like the 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 positive r- rivalry that has been there to mm. sort of nudge us ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I guess, well, another abbreviation or what is an abbreviation? Like my English today is amazing. Uh, comparison is what I mean, mm-hmm. not abbreviation. <laughs> Fuck your brain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, but like I can see us, you know, uh, mountain climbing mm-hmm. and like. I'm hanging off of your back and then you get tired and then I take over and I yeah, climb yeah, yeah, and you're yeah, yeah, hanging yeah. off of me and then like we just keep like sort of climbing up. Cooler way to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do like climbing a mountain with Batman. Climbing each other's backs. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. Cool, cool. No. <laughs> God. <laughs> but so, yeah, yes. mentors. Men- mentors. Men- mentors. <laughs> mentors. Uh, mentors. So, yeah, we, we don't really have a plan for this. We're just going to talk about what? it like generally. <laughs> we don't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, <laughs> Willis? We're like the MacGyvers <laughs> of the podcasting world. We just make do with what we have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do we got? We got a polar we, bear. We got <laughs> like uh, bear coasters. Fart air and... And yeah, the ceiling Christmas is tree. Uh, collapsing. <laughs> <And> the <ceiling laughs> is collapsing. <laughs> it's all good. Yes. The sound isolation is falling off the, the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, mentors. I think for me, jumping back, obviously mm-hmm. dad has been number one. He, yeah, I think he was the, one of the first. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> yawning. Don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you. Just <laughs> trying to hold back the yawn. <laughs> hey, oh, I don't care what. Okay, from now on, we're going to talk like this the whole podcast. <laughs> just in case we start yawning again, so. <laughs> <laughs> just disguise the whole thing. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> When I was like going deep and and personal as well. Hey, Robert. (laughs) Oh, guys, oh, my dad. Hey, guy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) If it's not a deliberate derail, (laughs) it's this shit. Yeah. It's what you get. Oh, Oh, good laugh. Yeah, that was needed. My brain. Your dad. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> My dad. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he he was always <laughs> like the guy that I wanted to, I guess, beat when I was a kid, because mm. he was really good at drawing. He was really good at like he could play guitar. He could play. He could do everything, and I was like too small to do anything. So he was always like the big guiding light with all of this, and. Uh, 
you know, he started teaching us how to draw stuff. He was always like, whether we wanted to or not, he became sort of a mentor or yeah, teacher yeah. in that way. I think he's just, he, he has that sort of personality or mentality. Um, and uh, yeah, I can still, like, I know I've told this story before, but like one of the big turning points in my life was when I was maybe five or six and I asked him to teach me how to draw a skull mm. because he drew him super easily and he was always drawing skulls. Like his thing was always sort of typical biker motif. So like mm -hmm. a skull with a bandana on it with like the American flag and like Harley Davidson and eagles and Indians. Didn't he draw and, like a or Native skull Americans. with a mohawk as well? Yeah. Or like spikes yeah. or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, like yeah. one of those Native American, sh what's yeah. it called, shroud or the... No idea, or dude. Head or head. Oh, yeah, one of those head ornaments. Yeah. yeah. No, he he loved all of that stuff and cowboys and like that's his generation, I guess. Uh, so I just asked him, like, can you teach me how to draw a skull? And he's like, yes. Like, you know, it was nothing. And he, he drew a skull in like a couple of seconds. And I remember getting so pissed that he made it look so easy mm -hmm. that from that day on, it was like in my head, game on. Like, I am going to like, I'm going to become better than you at drawing skulls. Mm -hmm. So I like I was crying. I was so angry. I was crying, but the frustration. Fr yeah, yeah, from yeah. that, you know, came the the beast that is Rob. So yeah, skulls now easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the coolest thing was sort of full circle when I got to tattoo skulls on my dad, like because he loves While my he skulls. he slept. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> knocked out rather. <laughs> like yeah, but um, but yeah. So I mean from. More or less day one, I guess I've had him as a mentor, mm. whether I wanted to or not. And um, I mean, to this day, I'm still trying to impress him. That's mm. something that's so deeply rooted in my being that even though I know that I like far sur surpass him in the art world, at least it's. Uh, that didn't feel like a thing when we were kids. No, that we no, were not ever going to get that good, you know, that we could. Not at all. Like looking at. Like, if I go back and look at his portraits and mm -hmm. the stuff that he has drawn that he's kept, which is not a lot, mm -hmm. you know, it's almost like when I sent you the pictures of the animals that I had drawn that <laughs> you've always <laughs> been, like, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. pumped over. It was that sort of thing. Like, yeah, like, I mean, obviously, aged well we, weren't, that way. we weren't that good. But looking at his yeah. stuff, I'm like, why were we impressed really yeah. you know it's mm. but times have changed he's you know by no means bad at drawing he mm. is he is good he knows what he's doing but he like maybe not now i haven't seen him draw anything for but ages, that's the thing but he didn't keep it up you know no, what i mean no. like he stopped at his sort of peak at the time yeah i guess, like, I guess. yeah no he hasn't drawn for like i don't know maybe 20 years mm. or more it's pretty sad, actually, to it's have that, sad, that yeah. gift and just waste it, I guess. Or not waste it, but just not do anything with it. You know, yeah. I know that he became super busy with work, but... But that could have been work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Like, And he was really good with oils and stuff like that, which I really wanted him to keep mm. sort of doing. I wanted him to do at least one oil painting because he talked about it so much and he started that Spawn mm. one. And... Uh, yeah, he just started that, and that was the last time I saw that. That was, like, 96. And the fun thing is he's such a pop culture nerd as well. Yes. So it would have been awesome. Definitely, definitely. And, like, I could have easily seen him jump over and become a tattoo artist as well. Like, mm. that would have been really cool. That would have been awesome. Yeah, and I'm like, sure he has that age those well, yeah. regrets. <laughs> but uh, but that's I mean, what I don't yeah. want. When I get to old. have regrets, yeah, yeah, to have those types of regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, I mean, guys. No. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> God, <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. I was just trying to be like, oh my God, oh, it's yeah. just coming. Yeah, it's coming. But now it's like now you won't know if we're yawning or just doing the the, the voice. voice the yeah. voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but your dad haunted me as well. Like. He haunted he, everybody, I think. Dude, when he <laughs> told me, I think we mentioned this a while back as well, was when he told me to, like, draw, like, loosely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as a kid, you just hold that pen for dear life and you just draw, you know, oh, yeah. one, like, decisive line after the other. <clears throat> yeah. 
and like one notepad is yeah is ruined <laughs> dude yeah you just like first, oh i got it first drawing yeah. You, yeah it's on all pages. you can't erase anything <laughs> it just won't erase <laughs> and that i struggle with that so much mm-hmm. i remember the frustration of it not working because i was like i'm just going to loosely draw and i couldn't you know you were just like it was ingrained in you to sort of press to yeah. s- to get something out of the pen you know like immediately like the result that is super strange why yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know. And, and why is that? And why is that still a thing? Why it why is it's like when I see my kids draw, just they're destroy very, the the yeah, marker yeah, yeah. straight away, like <laughs> you know, you yeah, yeah, yeah. smash it, it. So so difficult for me to step back, mm-hmm. and then I got to the spectrum where you know you're so afraid of making mistakes that you're drawing too loosely. <laughs> yeah. You know, like you're like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> but that's yeah. I mean, rather that. Mm-hmm. than uh, the opposite, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah, my dad was really good at bitch slapping kids uh, in general when it came to the Dude, drawing stuff. He, I think he punched me in the gut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and when also we were fighting. Because <laughs> <laughs> we came at him at full speed. Yeah. Oh, man. But, uh, I, I mean, remember, like, tears are running out of your eyes. And you're like, ah, ah, I think my, I'm bleeding no, internally. Show like, no weakness. <laughs> <laughs> that that was dead. a thing. That was a thing. Because oh, you yeah. wanted to impress him, you know. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. oh, man. Idiots. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. It was his birthday this weekend, by the way. Oh, shit. Happy did birthday, Did you forget? Daddy. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. last year was the best. <laughs> you forgot your dad's birthday, your yeah, mom's, mom's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, yeah. fuck this. And now I don't have the the Facebook app anymore, so like there's no heads up with any mm. of this. Sucks. So yeah, but I'm definitely gonna nice. forget my mom's. One hundred percent. Sorry, mom. But yeah, no. Um, so I'm tattooing him on Saturday. What's he getting this time? Uh, we're doing Robert De Niro from Jackie Brown. If you remember that movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I don't remember him being in it. But I remember the rest of it. That's why I wanted to do uh, Robert De Niro because it's like he's such a famous actor Mm -hmm. and he is in a Tarantino movie. So Mm -hmm. it just feels weird not adding him in. Like he's sort of an... Well, people don't think of Jackie Brown as a Quentin Tarantino movie. Like Mm -hmm. they don't think of Jackie Brown, period. Period, yeah. But it's a great movie. Like it is still a Tarantino movie, but it's just like... Not What's that famous normal. lady from that movie as well? The one from Kiss of the Dragon. Uh, Isn't she in it as well? Bridget Fonda. Bridget yeah, Fonda, yeah, yeah. yeah. Super stoner chick in mm-hmm. that one. Yeah. And Robert De Niro fucks her. So. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> and that is... That is the movie. Pointless. <laughs> Pointless fact. <laughs> yeah. For everyone to know. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm doing... Uh, tattooing him and then we're going to go to their house and mm-hmm. have dinner. So, like... I don't know. I'm forcing him to give me dinner for his birthday, which is great. Cool. (laughs) Win-win. But yeah, and I think with that, we're going to be finished with the lower arm. Damn. Yeah. Stay tuned on the Tattoos tattoos by Rob uh, Instagram. You will see it. But on the subject of mentor, do you feel like your dad taught you enough of the basics or did you feel like you had him as an inspiration and then you discovered most things yourself? Uh, I'd say the latter. Mm. I don't think, like, I can't remember him sitting down and teaching me sort of perspective or teaching me any of this stuff. Mm. It was more like he drew stuff and I wanted to draw Emulate equally he, yeah. good stuff. Uh, or like I, I redrew his stuff or like copied yeah, yeah, yeah. And from there, like, and then, I mean, after that, we started hanging out more and drawing more and that mm. became the thing. And then with Anders as well coming in. Mm. So... Um, it, I think it really quickly went away from beating dad at the drawing game and mm. then beating you guys. And mm. then like, and then, yeah, our street fighter battle began pretty much. Indeed. Oh man. that That's one thing I regret though, as a kid or regret. I don't really regret it. I don't care, but it would have been easier because I felt like this is where a mentor would have been great. Mm hmm. To sort of guide you through the things you actually need to learn. Yeah. So that whatever you choose to do with your art later, you have some fundamentals to stand on. Yeah. Like I learned this, you know, in my 20s. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of learning 
it early on when you actually did have the time to invest in all this stuff. But man. I guess like when when we were kids, I don't think our parents were like, well, uh, they're going to grow up to become artists. Or no. like, and to be honest, I don't think my dad knows all of this stuff because he no, hasn't no, gone to like not. art school. He's just learned how to draw well. Mm. Uh, his big oldest brother is uh, even better at drawing than he is or was i don't know how good he is now but he was always like the big inspiration for my dad and yeah, my dad yeah. kept talking about his stuff all the time like <laughs> oh if you think yeah, i'm yeah. good you should see ari yeah. who is like the well he's like the big drunk of the family it's super sad actually he just squandered his gifts he was one of those people that just whatever he tried he was he awesome at it, it. Yeah. yeah yeah so he was really great at playing guitar he was really great at drawing and painting and doing like mm. super creative dude and just drank it all away and now works like i think driving garbage trucks or maybe he's retired i don't know a waste is mm -hmm. what he is and it's super sad uh but i don't again i don't think like our parents said oh, we should really focus on teaching Robert how to draw because he's going to become a big famous artist one day. It's more like, oh, well, he seems to enjoy this, so we'll just encourage, encourage him, yeah. uh, and then hopefully he'll get a job one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, my parents, maybe, like, they didn't know all this stuff. Like, they don't, they, my parents do not draw, you know. Like, yeah. N no one has, like, the talent. The gift. Yeah, uh, but they did try, though, like, to sign me up for stuff. And I just was totally against it. Even in school, everything they threw at me, like, oh, we're going to study, you know, statues and stuff. And I was like, oh, what's that going to teach me? Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> you know, like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whereas now, you know, you understand, like, why they, they study marble statues and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was just too stupid. Like, I was not, like... Well, I, I just couldn't get that information. I, I didn't, you know what I mean? I was yeah. close-minded, very. Like, I just wanted to draw with pencil for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or ballpoint after a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and color, sure, I dabbed in color, but I really wanted to do black and white stuff. And I was like, no, I'm just going to work with black and white. No, no, no. I was so for set. For reasons. For reasons, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I was so set in my fucking ways. Mm -hmm. And I think having someone that knew something about anything that was art related would have helped a lot there. Yeah, but and we also th that you respect exactly. Like if it came from your dad, I probably would have like, oh, okay. ah, because you look up to you yeah. know like your dad and his stuff. But if it came from my parents that had no background in art, you know, like when they say stuff, you're like, like I could you know do something ugly and they love it basically so yeah. you don't respect the opinion no exactly uh, so yeah it took me a really long time to open up but didn't you feel with uh, Michelle like he was better because he was our first sort of real art teacher I yeah, guess yeah 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 that that because we had an art class how old were we like 10 10, 10 11 12 yeah, yeah. somewhere around there with this guy named Michelle and he was like, he had long hair and he was like friends with everybody and it was mm -hmm. super like cool. And yeah, I remember respecting him like crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't remember his drawings. Like, Not at did all. he even show anything that he did? I don't know. But he just seemed to know. Yeah, exactly. So, but that motivated us to become better. But he was like to... the Lorenzo Lamas. Oh, of... yeah, for <laughs> sure. Like, he was driving the bike and everything. Yeah, he yeah, had yeah, a yeah. super hot wife, all of this. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, he was, he was a cool Lamas. dude. Yeah. He was super cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so th I mean, in a sense, he was kind of a mentor without being a mentor. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, no, but it was an inspiration sort of like a... Yeah, I guess more inspiration than mentor. But or, what or, is the you, difference really or, apart from having a guy or girl? But a mentor is deliberately mentoring you, you know, like yeah. they're teaching you and tell... Like, basically, I, I think the job of the mentor is to just, you know keep you uh, accountable, you know, and guide you and sort of like help you out with some of the questions so that instead of reinventing the wheel, they can sort of like, oh, you want to be a concept artist or you want to be this or an animator. Then you get a mentor that is, you know, within that field and mm. they can sort of guide you through the some of the. So let's what, at what age <laughs> would you say is the best time to sort of start trying to find a mentor? That is so, so 
difficult to answer right? because when, I think when some people know. need it early. Yeah, some people need it early and some don't. And, yeah. you know, uh, some, some because people just are fearless. You I know? mean, you can argue that you kind of always need a mentor. In I think a way. In, in a way you always need something. Some, a guiding yeah. light at least. I mean, I think it'll keep you more focused. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's super hard to be focused all the time by yourself because everything becomes mundane, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But having someone that kind of encourages you and slaps you in the yeah. face. No, but I think it's that's really what a mentor good. does. Yeah, right? yeah. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like hitting Slap is really him. good. Yeah. I'm your mentor. <laughs> 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 good job. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Give, gives you a Just tissue. Just in case. Dry off those tears. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get the paper wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it is just like someone that can keep you on track I think it's so much easier because like doing stuff for work I don't skip things you know no I find solutions for all the stuff that I need to do whereas when I do my personal work There's, where's all that discipline exactly where's all that structure where's all that every once in a while you can tap into it oh, and, definitely. and get shit done but, but as it, soon as you realize that What's the point? Yeah. And then, oh, look, video games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or I don't know, movies. Everything. Or, look, pretty bird. Yeah. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am definitely more pretty bird right now. Yeah, because I've never had mentor. Like, I've never... Because I, I hear about... It's it's a very popular thing right now as well. Like, oh, I have a mentor that blah, blah, blah. No matter what it is. Mm. can be a sales coach on LinkedIn. It can be, you know, whatever. And people have these different coaches or mentors for different things. And I've never had that. And I, I don't think I've needed any of it. Like, now thinking back. Yes. 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 But, like, right now, where I'm at right now, I just need... I just want to hang with other creatives. That helps me a lot. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've uh, I've had uh, mentors. I've had to go through the the apprenticeship as a tattoo artist. Oh, that's true. That's so. Cool, so I have like firsthand uh, knowledge of the mentor thing. The only thing there is my mentor wasn't really my mentor. Mm -hmm. Like he took me in. And he taught me the sort of foundations of the industry. Mm -hmm. Not so much this is how the machine works. This is how you should think when you're applying color to skin. Like That's weird, though. Yeah. That feels like a big he, part He was of... definitely more like you should treat people this way. Uh, this is what we focus on here. Yeah. And keep cleaning. Like, keep cleaning. Cleaning, Robert. Clean more, it's really important. More cleaning. Clean my stuff up. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. So there was a lot of just sort of cleaning and then learning from watching everybody else in the shop mm. and getting tattooed myself. So Nelson, I think, is the one that I would spontaneously think of when I think of a mentor because mm -hmm. he, for one, I wouldn't have the, I wouldn't be a tattoo artist today if it weren't for him. He put in a good word for me at the shop and kind of made Marcus, my actual mentor, uh, take me in. So, uh, but... I spent so much time with Nelson and really analyzing everything that he did and asked him all the questions that he is the guy that sort of taught me the tattoo the part. Tattoo of, part. Uh, yeah. But also teaching myself. And then Johan or Bonk Tattoo uh, mm. and Nelson Hardy Tattoo, uh, if you're interested. Nelson Hardy Tattoo and Bonk Tattoo were the two sort of main teachers at the shop. And they really sort of encouraged me and like everything I did they were always like they're sort of giving me a pat on the back saying good job uh, next time think about this and this mm. like just small small things but always like with a positive it yeah, was yeah, never yeah. like that was bad there that was were w the wind in your sail yeah to for put sure it stupidly <laughs> for sure so every day when I came to work or left work rather I was sort of sailing on clouds mm -hmm. I was like so happy because every day I felt like I had progressed. That's awesome. Like, that's a great thing. And that's just because they are so, like, just great dudes. Mm. Uh, and, and the same with Marcus. Like, I can't put him down. He was a fantastic, uh, well, not mentor, but just like a positive person in my life at that stage. And he was always, like, just so motivating. Like, he just wanted me to reach superstars. Mm -hmm. uh, superstardom 
within the tattoo industry and introduced me to the big names and everything. When we went on um, conventions and stuff, he was always like, this is my apprentice. This is this guy, that, that, that. So everybody knew that I was connected to Huckleberry. And that sort of made me uh, a name Mm -hmm. in the tattoo industry. So now when I go to a convention, they say, hey, which is like, it's a big deal for me. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, like in that sense, I think the most important thing for me having a mentor is the introduction to the industry and the people in there. Uh, the craft that was something I had to learn by doing and watching. So, uh, in retrospect, I would have, well, for one, wanted to get into the industry earlier, but also find a teacher that would sit down with me. Like take the time to at least really like go once in. a week, maybe go over stuff that I had done, talk mm. like for reals, analyze what the work uh, that I have been doing looks like and what I should be thinking of, and what uh, you should be striving at like, exactly. For. And and yeah. also like, um, are you sure you're using the right machine for the stuff you want to do? Like all mm. of that stuff that I yeah, that's have a pretty good thing. No as well. idea like, of this needle does this, this exactly. needle does this. Like maybe you should use this machine because it hits harder because mm. you want to do more line work. Yeah. Or you want to fill more color, then you should use this machine and this technique mm. and that that that. I'm still trying to learn that now, which is why I'm like, should I be taking on an apprentice? Uh, you know, mm-hmm. should I ever? <laughs> but it's almost like to me, and this is going to sound super wrong to anybody out there that actually has kids, so I'm sorry. But to me, it almost feels like adopting a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, because it's, I'm not just going to bring in an apprentice and then kick them out the door. If I take somebody on, it is on. Like, for life. Yeah, to the break of dawn. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That was so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I'm gonna be there 100 percent, or maybe 110 mm. percent, and really be probably a little bit annoying and an asshole at times. But you know, all for the sake of making this person into the best of the best, because mm. they're gonna have to surpass me before they can start tattooing. Mm. That's of course. That's the thing. So, so yeah, a lot of free work ahead of you. Oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's not Rose, like, you don't want money. Money ruins everything. Exactly. Fuck that shit. Just work for free. Money doesn't buy you equipment. Talent Fred does. does. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll shout you out on my Instagram if exactly. you do this job. But yeah, no, I. Uh, so I did get. I don't know if I did say that or not, but I did get a request from a person. Yeah, yeah we that, talked about that. Yeah. Like briefly, so I think. Um, like I'm, I still haven't moved further with it. I've talked to Nelson about it. Mm. He said, "Yes, you're ready." Uh, uh, I still doubt it. <laughs> Robert's brain <laughs> said, "I don't know." Yeah, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, had to. Uh, but uh, yeah, so moving along from that is. Uh, getting this person in and talking to both me and Nelson at the shop and sort of just hearing what uh, the intention is Mm. and stuff. So that will be super interesting, just sort of becoming a mentor for real or or a master as Mm. it's actually called in the the industry. So I will be a master. Young grasshopper. Yes. You are here to learn the sacred arts of tattoo. I need to get one of those grass straws. Exactly, and a long mustache. Well, I so kinda, you can, like, but that. if you get that beard as well, you can throw, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, back. And Flip it. <laughs> Flip it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Dude, I need to see Kill Bill again. Yeah, that's what I was thinking yeah. as well. <laughs> Andy been, Lau. It's so it's good. It's been very long. Uh, but yeah. But so, what would you say are some pros and cons of having a mentor? Like, do you have anything, like, if you think about it for um, two seconds and then <laughs> <laughs> throw something out there? Well, again, uh, a mentor is going to give you sort of an easier way into the industry because you already have hooks out there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you always like you will have a person to introduce you to people. And uh, I mean, maybe you're not going to get a job at the shop that you are apprenticing at. But I know a few people that maybe will have some openings that mm-hmm. I can like recommend. Ah, oh, my apprentice is looking for a place to work. Ta-da. Yeah. Or something like that. And that goes for people outside of the industry as well. Like yeah. if you have someone that knows people, you know, I'm not talking about sort of like some local dude that, you know, just likes to do art. But if you, if you, if you have an, 
a mentor that is connected or is in the industry, like you manage to get someone like that, that's, uh, yeah. then definitely you'll have, for example, I know a lot of people that work in the gaming industry and, you know, sometimes we see more openings mm. than you might. Now exactly. we have the internet you know, at, at, to our disposal, but, yeah. you know, sometimes people do reach out to us since we've been, you know, working for a long time and there's always openings somewhere someone looking for an artist yeah of some type yeah so like yeah i think that is the biggest win also having somebody that's got your back whenever mm. you don't really know what you're doing or if you feel or where you're yeah. insecure about anything um because that is i think the biggest biggest job of a mentor apart from teaching the person the, the craft is Morale. <laughs> the yeah but but also just being there you know and being a guiding light uh, in the dark and motivating like having that when you feel like you've only done shit but having this person come up and like objectively Good job. tell like, you yeah yeah you're you're becoming better mm -hmm. like having that said to you will well, especially if it is from somebody that you look up to, it's uh, it's always awesome. Yeah, uh, and also I think like a, that a mentor can look at your work in a way that you won't, mm -hmm. and that's objectively, and just tell you like, oh, you think this is bad? This is what you did like three months ago. Exactly. This is your like, this is how you do a character. Yeah, and or now like, you. This is what I did uh, at the same age. time. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or yeah, just to be able to show you that you're improving you mm -hmm. know like it depends on how hands-on this mentor will be you know yeah of uh, course because everyone I, I think the most important thing about having a mentor is to if you respect their time the time they're putting into whatever you're doing you know uh, if you can sort of pay that back somehow you know with commit like it doesn't have to be that you give them money you know no unless that's the arrangement but also just you know just value their feedback value their time you know because i think sometimes people reach out on social media and they ask you for things mm. and or you give them feedback like oh could you give me feedback on this character or something like that and you do give them feedback and then you get this you know like oh but but he does that because of this and you know like the excuse thing yeah which is a normal reaction to sort of <laughs> feedback yeah when it you, takes when it's hard to like, it takes get, practice to like take feedback mm -hmm. you need to uh have That's had good. so much shit thrown at you but that i think you sometimes realizing yeah. that it's not shit anymore yeah, yeah. yeah and also like if you come from a place of encouragement mm. feedback even positive feedback like he, when it tends to sort of you know when like your character isn't that good but you you you've been sort of <laughs> what do you call curdled to yeah, <laughs> yeah believe that it is uh it it can be really hard to even get a, some positive feedback mm. that because you start making up the excuses, and then you know like you get the feedback and you're like not doing it. You know what I yeah. mean? Because yeah. that's always been a thing where I just like I just don't want to waste my time. And, and that's like going back to my dad. I think that yeah. was one of his best strengths. Mm. Uh, also, I hated him for it, but he would never give me like really good. Uh, well, feedback, more or less. Like, if I drew something, he would never say, like, oh, my God, dude, that's awesome. Okay, that's, like, the, the coolest you thing that anything, you've ever yeah. done. It's always been, like, yeah, yeah, that's good. Like, he was always so low-key about <laughs> so his compliments did, yeah, or so when whatever. You did something. So whenever I did something that was, like, genuinely super good, mm. I would feel that from him, even yeah. though he would still not, like, even if he gave me super praise, like, if it actually shown through he would still sort of correct himself by saying oh but remember there's always somebody better like <laughs> like Art. always just fucking Art. smacking me back on the ground but do, but do you think that that stuff like i've never thought about it before but do you think that stuff is also sometimes why social media is such a struggle for you mentally sometimes yeah. 100%. Like, like, it has to tie back to something. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. it's not that easy that it's the one thing, but it's, like, no, but years of that stuff, yeah, you know. I mean, it's been, like, yeah, all my childhood has been that. Yeah. So always, like, knowing that there's somebody better out there, but then all of a sudden having uh, that in your face, like, mm. as proof all the time. You know, when he just said it, it was still, like, 
I could choose to believe him or not. Mm. But here it's like, you know, on a daily, there's yeah. always, always somebody better. And that can be really demotivating in so many ways. Yeah, you know? yeah I think so too. Like, but it's a fine balance. Yeah. But, but sort of looking back, uh, that always sort of pushed me to become better when he said that stuff yeah. and like whenever he sort of gave me feedback. So uh, I think like I would probably be the same with my kids if I ever have any to like be kind of modest with my feedback or praise uh, in certain things, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm still going to be happy when they learn to walk and talk, you know. Ah, uh, there, there's always someone that walks better. Exactly. <laughs> you <laughs> call that walking? <laughs> <laughs> These Look at shoes were made for walking, and that's, <laughs> that's just what, what I'll do. do. Yeah. <laughs> and some of these days, <laughs> I'm going to walk all over you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's paramount. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, yeah. Um, but on the negative side of uh, mentorship is the curdling, for sure. Mm-hmm that it could go to your head and you think that you're so much better than you are if you have a mentor that's that not... That sucks, yeah. Yeah, that's not <laughs> honest with you. And um, also, like, I guess, if you have a mentor but the mentor is not there or somebody just taking advantage of you, I think that is probably number one in worst case. Yeah. Because the normal thing with tattoo mentorships or apprenticeships is like the um, uh, go clean my car. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That it's type a really of thing. important thing. Like, uh, yeah, here, here go. But uh, it feels like our buddy Prakash, Prakash. Yeah, like got that end of the stick. You know, twice, twice. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand how. And he would be. I think he would have been awesome. He is. You no, know, awesome. he is awesome. But I mean, like his career could have been because he's so. You know, he has the style mm-hmm. that. You know. People just love. Yeah. It was such a, yeah, such a so, great style. I was so angry when he started tattooing. Because like off straight out the gate, he was so much better than me. Like straight away. I must like, it just, oh, it pissed me off so much. But that made me again excel. Yeah. Like, ooh, game on, bitch. Like, okay. Yeah. But it was, yeah. And it, it was so sad hearing that, you know, his... Both his mentors yeah. fucked him over. It's such like, a fucking just, stupid yeah, thing. Just sort of stealing from him more or less. Like he's making money but not earning anything. And, and, and working just so much. Just had to do and, everything. And, yeah. yeah. And they were putting him down a lot as yeah. well. Yeah. Just it's, bullying. Yeah. I, I don't get why that has to be a thing. Yeah. Like the hazing. But it's such a normal thing in the tattoo industry. Like... I mean, you have to have thick skin, no pun intended, in the industry because yeah. there's so many assholes that come into the shop that you need to learn how to handle. So you can't be curdled too much because if you get this sort of druggie coming in and being mm-hmm. like extremely mental, mm-hmm. you still need to handle that. It's, yeah, but of course, of you course. know, it comes with because sometimes like this is going to the very extremes but you can have people that sort of if you don't handle them right they're gonna fucking stab you and kill you <laughs> like good people psychos come in to tattoo shops so it's not like the dream industry all of the time uh, I've been super lucky with all of my clients so far that's me knocking on wood uh, Nerd. but no I've heard so many stories about extremely crazy people but I feel that th- it's different types of studios that yeah. attract different types of trash. It depends on where, <laughs> where, where on the planet you yeah. are and in sort of what neighborhoods and all of this. Yeah. Of all course. of that comes to play, of course. But with that said, I mean, we're in a very sort of nice, calm place now. Mm-hmm. But it's also very close to uh, sort of, I guess, like housing for mentally challenged individuals. And also former druggies. And so we do have like a lot of those type of people that once in a while come in and they want to just, you know, they just want to talk really. But if you don't know how to handle that, it could get really fucking scary, you know. And uh, most of the time we sit all alone as well. And it's like, Mm. okay, so I'm fucked. (laughs) Like, who are you going to call? Mental busters? I guess. But yeah, no, I mean... You know what I mean. 
So the hazing is sort of part of the thing. So, but you shouldn't just be shat on and you shouldn't yeah, be yeah. But demotivated. I mean, yeah. You shouldn't be harassed in that way. Like it's okay to maybe have to clean a car mm. once or twice. You know what I mean? No, but I'm just like, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, and I was a part So keeping on with the tattoo stuff, sorry, folks. Son of a bitch. Uh, but when I was working in Sydney, uh, there was uh, a guy, Ollie, who uh, was an apprentice to Kian, who was the owner of Authentic that I worked in. And whenever he fucked up, he had to do push-ups, he had to do squats, he had to run errands, he had to do this and this. And like he was such a great apprentice. He would do everything like, yes, sensei type style which was like that was more impressive than the punishment because I was like dude come on like that's the dumbest shit ever yeah it's like oh uh, you have to do 50 knuckle push-ups because he missed because I'm a cunt that's what all I'm here yeah <laughs> no and he was uh, but uh, I don't like I never really saw him he came to me and showed me his drawings mm -hmm. rather than show Kian You know what I mean? Yes. So he was like afraid of Kian, and Kian is supposed to be his his master, extra yeah. dad. You know, like it's uh, yeah. So in that sense, like I wouldn't say that's a great mentorship, but maybe in the long run, it it's, is. Maybe, maybe it's, it's a great opportunity, but it's not a great mentorship. I yeah. So like there is, who am I to say what's right and wrong? You know, there's my way of thinking about it and yeah. Kian's way of thinking about it. And both those ways are probably right. You know what I mean? No. Like there's nobody can say <laughs> what's right or wrong. Uh, hopefully, uh, like Ollie will learn how to draw properly at one day. Yeah, once he's done with the push-ups and the, <laughs> the waste of time. Exactly. Things. If his hands aren't fucked up from all the push-ups, he might be able to oh, hold but, but a so, tattoo machine. Stuff, but stuff like that <laughs> would make me quit because yeah. I don't want to waste my time. That's someone that doesn't respect my time. Exactly. They want me to respect his time, but they're going to waste mine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if he put that time drawing, that would have been time better spent. You know, draw your thousand roses or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck you need to do. 500. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like, <laughs> Don't waste people's time. And that goes both ways, like, really. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, oh, yeah, washing cars. That's cool. That has nothing to do with the studio. This is your car that you drive to and from work. Mm -hmm. But then it's more, I mean, in that sense, it's the karate kid type of That was also teaching. rubbish. That was my most hated <laughs> part in that show. What? When, but, no, wax on. Wax off. Yes, was. but he could also learn karate and just, like, you know. Well, he did from... The waxing. And his karate was shit. But then he became a car salesman, so it worked in his favor. In his favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to apply the wax on before you wipe it off, because that's what my sensei told me in karate class. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you prepared him for life. Yeah. No, but like, no. it's more getting a task and then following it through yeah. 100%. Like, I, that is no, the, but the that, lesson, that I respect. You know. That I respect, but within... yeah. yeah. But he so, still sounded like a cunt. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. You help around the shop. Oh, but he That's was. legit. That's yeah. legit. But anything outside, you know, like wash my underwear type of mm -hmm. stuff, basically, that's what the car stuff feels like. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the push-ups is just weird. Like, I, I appreciate push-ups. I mean, it was a fun show. Hmm. With, like, but, I mean, to be honest, Ollie was ripped. <laughs> like, yeah. He didn't need those push-ups anymore, for sure. Yeah. But uh, now I really genuinely hope that uh, it all works out for mm. him and that he got somewhere. That he's working now. Fuck, it's been... Uh, But that's what I mean. It could be one of those where you just string people along, you know, and yeah. they don't get better at drawing because they don't draw. Mm -hmm. But they get really good at mopping floors and doing push-ups. Exactly. And then, and then he then became a be, really buff janitor. They're going to be like so afraid to start tattooing once that happens because all they've <sighs> done is just mopping floors. Just like put a needle on the mop and mm. just start. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because they're no. really good at this. <laughs> no, nah. I got to I got to get into it really quickly, and I'm mm. super thankful. And that was, I think, mostly because of Johan being like, "Let's just put him to work. Let's just see what he does." That's what I mean. Just like, and and the that was the best way to go about it for me was, well, first ha having to tattoo myself in front of everybody. Mm. Getting past that, like the anxiety of having that booked in and knowing that that day is coming, like in a few days. Yeah. 
and then everybody is so excited to see me do the first sort of lines on yeah. skin. Like that pressure was crazy. But sitting down and then doing that those first sort of lines and then having everybody sort of nod their heads and like, hmm, mm. like, okay, yeah. Like they, they, they see with. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like getting that was like, whew, okay, first hurdle. And then you go home, and throw up a bit, yeah, and then you go back much. to it. <laughs> well, it wasn't at that stage I didn't throw up because it was just myself. Yeah, that's true. But uh, yeah, when it was time to actually have paying customers that I never met, that's when yeah, the throwing up part fuck. came. <laughs> Terrifying. God. Yeah. But it was like that progression of first me, then my friends, then clients. clients. Like that, I think that's a good way that's to go. That's the problem with tattooing. You don't have enough paper. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you can't just like tattoo everywhere. You know what I mean? Like a sketchbook or yeah, anything. No. Like, no, 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 you need actual fucking, you know, victims. <laughs> yes. There's so much like pre-work that goes yeah. into the tattoo. Yeah. Even now that I have like I finally got to sit down a little bit with the the tattoo poster this morning. Mm -hmm. Haven't touched it for like the months. turtles. One? Yeah, the yeah. turtles one. Like, and that's already it's set up. So I just need to sit down and sort of start tattooing. But it's just been, ugh. Yeah, yeah, it it, it is. A it, it's a hassle. Mm. But now, like, as soon as I sat down and started working on it again, it felt good. It feels good when you take a break and then go back to it because you're, you you're not as tired of certain parts mm. as you were when you sort of were in it. Exactly. So now it's – but I do have this really big – just speaking of the poster now, mm -hmm. <laughs> I do have this big sort of black area in the poster that I haven't tattooed yet mm -hmm. that I need to fit something in. So I need to uh, – uh, get like another stencil on there. I'm yeah. not happy with that part. So I need to take a step back and really look over what I can do here. Uh, but that also makes it more interesting and it sort of mm -hmm. becomes a new poster rather than that old Turtles poster that I just yeah. can never seem to finish. So yeah, hopefully I, I am sort of back into it. But I'll talk to talk about that a little later. Mm. And but on mentors, uh, I would like to say, like, if you find someone that is, like, an ass, don't stick around. No. Like, all the contacts in the world might not be worth it. You know what I mean? Uh, if if it's going to make you sort of jaded and, like, broken. <laughs> yeah. But you can't uh, be too sensitive, too. No, like, no, There's no, a no. fine balance there. But the thing is, you shouldn't be afraid of your mentor. You should be a bit nervous. That's mm. fine. But you should be eager to show them stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh, I've done like the stuff you said and I tried this and this. You know, like you should be eager and then like, but what are they going to think? You know, because mm -hmm. there should be some excitement there. Like, oh, shit, will they hate it or did I? Because I think there should be this fine balance there, you know. Yeah. Because if it's always like if you feel like shit when you're done, that's a bad mentor. Like if you're like. Some people are overly sensitive. You can't, you know, you can't be a mentor for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Some no, people no, no. are just like, they need to get to the point where they can take feedback. But I think, like, I'm a nice guy. People like me. People like to show me their work. Mm. But I'll be honest and very sort of unapologetic, but I won't be unfair. I won't just say stuff. No. Just because, like, oh, this is ugly. Like, I would never say that about anything. No. Like, I would be very, like, this looks a bit broken or, like, maybe you should look up the reference for mm -hmm. this hand. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't say this hand is ugly. I would never use phrasing like that. No. And I think sometimes people that end up being mentors don't have that in in them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're not good at giving feedback, first of all. So <laughs> yeah. when you two meet, you have the need and they want to sort of provide a thing that they they don't have. Very nice some ambient sounds there. Someone's leaving, closing doors, taking a shit. That's that, I think, the paper, cardboard stuff, maybe. Oh, maybe they're picking up the cardboard stuff. Yeah, maybe. 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 Um, yeah, maybe you guys aren't hearing it, but it's... But we are. It's very loud in my but head. But we did hear the, the watch last time yeah. in the podcast. Yeah, that, dude, that was so yeah. freaky. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, but but yeah, again, yeah. on, like, how do you find a good mentor, though? Like, how do you find, like, how would you go about finding a mentor like a general mentor now about art i mean for me 
I can only relate to the tattoo industry, and mm. I would probably go about it in the same way. If I like, if I was pursuing a mentorship with any mm. like legit artist, yeah. I would just try to look up somebody that does what I want to do, yeah, and that I look up to, and then start trying to get in contact with them mm. in any which way possible, really, mm. and take it from there. If it's uh, if it is tattooing, then same sort of thing. You find the artist that you really want to work in a similar style to or that you really look up mm -hmm. to. And then you start sort of infiltrating that studio and yeah. trying to get, well, for one, like you get tattooed by that artist. That is number one, that, like hands down. That's the best way to learn anything because then you get a first hand view and also feel what it feels like to be with this artist. And yeah. Hopefully this guy or girl is super open and can talk you through everything while you are getting the tattoo. If you're unlucky, then this person is going to be a douchebag and just sit with headphones on and work. Yeah. You know, and not going to be. That sounds like Australia. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a lot of tattoo artists. Uh, so, but yeah, there's all, you, you just need to put yourself out there yeah. and try to get in contact with them. And even if you feel like a total moron, mm. it's better to try that and fail rather than but not I think the, 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 that feeling that you feel like an idiot reaching out is only on you yeah for sure when people yeah, yeah, ask yeah, yeah. me about stuff I don't like what is this weirdo about like no. it's just people asking a genuine question yeah and then if I have time or not that's different but yeah. I, I don't feel that the question being posed is weird you know no. what I mean no and no, no, I, no, I am no. totally with you there like even if you're not going for the tattoo direction the the same thing applies. Yeah. If you have an artist out there that isn't, you know, has a bazillion followers, but is, you know, like has a bit of like, you know, like fame and has, you know, a course, mm. taking their course is a really good way to show that you appreciate what they do and you would like to learn or like have them be your mentor, you know, like, because yeah. I think that's a, a good way to get in touch with a lot of artists as well. Yeah, yeah. You're like, you invest some money in their work, basically. Yeah, because that already proved that you are ready to go the extra yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to learn. And then if you are really sort of, um, like, I want to say like awake, but more... Aware? Oh, not aware, but... I guess on in the course or whatever. Like if oh, you're okay, doing okay, that okay. little yeah, bit yeah. of extra yeah, yeah, yeah. in I see what you mean. said yeah, yeah. course, you know that's gonna show that you want to become more, that you yeah, want yeah. to strive, and that will you're make, driven basically. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Fuck, and uh, but that's gonna like prove to the artist that you want uh, to that you're not wasting with. their time exactly. either. Like exactly because for example, if I had a six hundred dollar course, you know, mm -hmm. and you took it. And then you had additional stuff you wanted to ask and stuff. I would feel very inclined to reply yes. to those questions because you're getting money. <laughs> no, but beside but, that, but you're, yeah. you, you've already proven yourself. You've already proven, yeah, yeah, that you're willing to do the work. Mm -hmm. And I think that is for all the people that reach out, no one's willing to do the work. Yeah. Like out exactly. of all the people that ask me for feedback, it's always the people that they want something for free, more or less. Like they want, but it's not even that. Like I could give them everything, and they would do nothing with it. Yeah, uh, those are the people that usually reach out. They want attention, maybe. That is exactly it. Yeah. They don't want feedback. They yeah. want attention. Like, oh, could you look through my gallery and give me some feedback? What am I going to feedback on? Exactly. Like what specific thing? Like you have forty-five different portraits that mm -hmm. you know, or like maybe you draw everything. What am I supposed to like? I could give you feedback on one thing. You know, yeah, and I could give you feedback on everything. Draw and where less would that? Portraits. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> draw less ugly portraits. Yeah, uh, uh, no, <laughs> but it's like people are seeking attention, yeah. and they're mixing that up with feedback, or like you know, masking it as mm. feedback uh, to get people to look at their accounts. Exactly, and, and that's easy to see through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, most of the time. But I, I've also gotten like I know people that have followed me for years. They're like, oh, could you give me some feedback? And I've given them feedback. Yeah. And they keep posting the same things. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not they, doing they, They're anything not with doing anything with the feedback. Mm. And I spent, you know, like, sure, it's just 10 minutes or 15 minutes writing. Yeah. But it still feels like a waste. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why did I, why did I give that time to you? 
Exactly. Yeah. Like, why did you ask for it? You know what I mean? Like, why are you wasting no, you're my wa- time? Exactly. Yeah, you're wasting my time and exactly that annoys that. me. And then I unfollow you. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, so, so, so it is that balance of give and take. And sometimes it can be, you know, giving money to something that I've done mm-hmm. or some other artist that you appreciate. And sometimes it's just being sort of interested in the, like genuinely in, in the, the person that you want to like mentor you, like just showing some interest or just promoting their stuff. You know, that could be, you know, like if they have a course, you promote that as well. You know, like, oh, I took this course. It's really good. Yeah. And like you're giving something back. Uh, so really just being a decent human to each other. Uh, and I think you could have, you know, any mentor out there. Like it really isn't rocket science. But I think that kind of wraps it up for now. Yeah. Like I don't have I mean, that much to say. Like if we're going to fa- be yeah. repeating ourselves for sure. Yeah. And so yeah. I just don't yeah. want to get th- like because the the problem with mentor is f- like mentors is finding someone that you know can see your path. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they can guide you through whatever it is you need at that very t- like moment in time. Yeah. Some people have mentors for years, and some just have them, you know, through a period of time, like a short period of time. So just figure out what you want to do, and then find someone that kind of resonates with you and the thing that you do. Yeah. And have them guide you. Like, if you want to write a graphic novel, you don't want to go get a concept artist. You know what I mean? You want to mm. go get someone that's drawn a fucking, like, concept. a few <laughs> fucking... Concepts. No, graphic yes. novels. Like, if that's no, your no, thing. No, no, concept. Concept. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, like, don't be afraid to discard, like, someone that is poisonous or that failed so hard that that still haunts them. So that they're like, oh, but you you should you should be afraid of everything. And it's a tough business. It might be a tough business, but that being said, it's not impossible. No. Uh, so you don't want to have someone that sort of is projecting all their issues from their past artistic adventures on you as well. So just find someone that, you know, I, I guess when, when, when you follow people for a lot of years, you can get sort of a vibe, mm. especially if it's someone that has an account where they reply back. Yeah. You know, you you can get a vibe. Uh, so just like connect with someone like that as well. Like I think is a really good way to sort of, or you do what I and Robert do. You just find someone that's just a little better than you. And then you try to surpass each other all the time. <laughs> and then, you know, that endless grind. Yeah. That's so also a way to do it. Yes, Street Fighter. Street Fighter Street it. Street Fighter it. Out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really hope that you got inspired. And uh, if you do have like the urge to find a mentor, mm-hmm. go out and terrorize those people. Yeah, stalk them. Find yeah. out what they like to eat, where they like to eat. No. <laughs> yeah. Look in their trash. Exactly. <laughs> Read receipts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, don't be afraid to reach out. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the tattoo industry or anything like that, don't be afraid to reach out. I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. And if you have questions that are not related to uh, tattoos, you can also reach out to Robert and leave me alone. Yeah. Because I'm a busy guy. I know everything and I have so much. Robert can Google it (laughs) for you. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) No, yeah. So, uh, moving on? Yes, moving on. Moving on! Movie, <laughs> movie. <laughs> wow. Lasers. Yeah, I tried. Cool. Yeah. I appreciate you for it because I'm very tired. Yeah, me too. God, I got so distracted by the, all the noise. No, like, I didn't care. I, c- I could almost not hear what you were saying. So, it's you're like... Why didn't you take off the headphones? Because then I can't hear what you're saying. But you but you do hear. The, but the, you do do. But the words are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> you can hear them. But then I would hear that even more, maybe. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. think so. I, I think know. you hear it less probably. when you don't have the headphones on. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <laughs> easily distracted. Yes. Fuck. Uh, but we're are. We, wow. We are. We are. Tools. Uh, tools. Yeah. Tools. Tools. That section of the thing. Oh, you said <laughs> tools. Very good. Yeah. The correct way of saying <laughs> toolies. Toolies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this week I painted stuff. What a loser. Yeah. No, you've been nagging me to fucking use the colors. So the finally, gouache. I finally did. I got some gouache and I used the gouache. Now I'm just hearing gouache. 
Yeah, yeah. like with a Brooklyn accent. Gwash. <laughs> Where's the gwash, man? No, that's no, not, that's no. Not. I can't do accent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, I sort of took. Again, I had to force myself to do this mm-hmm. because there's no motivation in my life at this stage. I just want to relax and do nothing. So I said to myself, all right, today just go home and paint. Just go home and paint something, like whatever it is. Uh, even do um, just a random graphite sketch or whatever it is. I needed to do something. Mm-hmm. And then I remembered that I bought the gouache. Gouache. <laughs> And uh, I was like, okay, let's see what I can do with this. So I painted Jojo from Jojo Rabbit with like a very limited amount of colors. Yeah, the colors caviar palette, as they call it. Yeah, (laughs) that's the only thing I could see as well. Like the the yellow and the red and the 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 blue. blue. It was just like, yep. It's it's, all I saw. Because, but it kind of made it even more fun in that way Mm -hmm. because I'm Swedish and yeah, 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 reasons. But, uh, yeah, it took a, a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I had so much fun mm. working with it. It's it's a great medium. Uh, I Well, I have used it before, but this time it was more really taking time and exploring the possibilities. Amazing. Like, so easy to use. It's like... Until you want to get like really clean, clean. Yeah. Ones. Then it gets a bit weird. But it's all about taking the time, like, mm. because you can get it super clean, but you just need to really have the patience to keep polishing it to that stage. And now that I've done this, I want to try and do a full poster with wash okay, yeah, cool. just to to see how <laughs> <Wash>. long <laughs> to see how long that will take. Yeah and uh, what it will look like, but also using that sort of limited color palette. What, what, what brand do you have of gouache? I actually only, th- there was only the one brand to buy at Penn Store, so I mm-hmm. bought that one. No, you one. bought them at Penn Store, yeah, cool. And uh, I don't remember. I don't remember what no. mine are called. I, I have the Winsor & Newton yeah, this is one, not and it's called like designer gouache, something like that. I don't, Fuck, no, I don't know. that doesn't ring a bell. Super expensive set. Yeah. Compared to the one I bought for like 60 crowns. <laughs> That's the one I wanted to get, but they didn't have the Oh, like, they don't the have them at the pen store. No. Yet. So like each, it's not a big. Uh, now mine are big either. They're color small. thing. Yeah. And it's like, well, 10 bucks per thing. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. That's why the limit. Yeah, I think I paid like 700 or 600 for mine. Oh, for the whole for the whole thing, um, like yeah. the expensive one, and they're small tubes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I couldn't paint anything big with it. Yeah. So, uh, with that said, I'm gonna try to be as uh, cheapo as I can. <laughs> what paper do you use, by the way? Uh, I actually took the the last piece of cardboard in a big chunk of paper mm. f- uh, from the studio. Like that's sort of what spurred me on to go home and paint as well. Mm-hmm. Because uh, we use uh, like a very specific type of paper for the stencils. It's mm. like a very sort of almost like baking paper, yeah, like yeah, the baking yeah, yeah. tray paper, uh, smaller paper. Yeah, schmear paper. Exactly, butter butter paper. Schmear <laughs> paper. Schmear <laughs> paper. Schmear <laughs> paper. Um, but uh, yeah, so like a little bit thinner cardboard, mm. like floppy cardboard. I guess. <laughs> floppy. <laughs> floppy paper and smear paper. Yeah. So it could like it could take the the amount of repaints and well, paint, I guess. But did you paint more dryly or did you water it down a bit? No, I well I first for, firstly I started painting more dryly. So mm-hmm. no water, just the color straight off. Mm-hmm. And then trying to blend and mm-hmm. using water to just smooth it out a bit. But as soon as you did that, you started to sort of take away the old color and it started getting yep. like all of those splotches and you're like, no, <gasps> yeah. It's like, yes, you just did like the perfect fade yeah. there. And then all of a sudden it's gone. <laughs> yep. So that was a little bit frustrating. So it, yep. it did take me two passes. So Dude. I did one, let it dry overnight. And then I went back the next day and mm. uh, just sort of, you can still like lose it though. Like, yes. Yeah. Cause I was like, Ooh, I'm just going to sort of, smear these together almost mm-hmm. like I do in Procreate, yeah, you know, yeah. use the smudge thing. Dude. Yeah, no, that removed the color. So yeah. happy days. Dude, happy I, days. I, I repainted, 
a certain rock mm -hmm. so many times <laughs> because I was just like, I need to, like, these colors need to match. Mm. And there was no, like, I wanted to do it in bold strokes as well, like yeah. big ones. And I just had to repaint. To get the small rock to look like the big one, I had to repaint both of them at the same time to get them in the same, you know, Otherwise, I would have to experiment all the time to yeah. match the color. So I just had to remake that rock again <laughs> after like, because I, I ended up in a really nice place. But I think the repainting made it better. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I really, because then I started understanding like, okay, if I do it like this. So this I can do happen. this, but yeah. I can't do this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Kind of. And then you finally, when you painted the whole thing and it's all wet sort of, mm. or like semi-wet, you know, yeah. you can just because I, I already knew what I wanted the rock to look like so I could just s like make it again because mm. uh, nowadays we're not just lucky <laughs> you know like things don't just end up looking the way they do no but it was nice like it was really nice to like repaint it for the third time and it was better yeah you know what I mean not yeah. like I can't remake the first one <laughs> but the thing is like now if you go in and paint it now yeah. do you think you would be able to do it faster or do you think oh, it would definitely, take definitely. the amount of time like those repaints again yeah but those repaints were learning you know yeah. what i mean like i didn't because uh, i think to be honest i know exactly what i'm doing so those mistakes are going to keep happening like if i do another portrait to it, some extent i think yes. i'll still like accidentally be sort of watering it down some areas mm -hmm. a little bit too much because I need it to become this and this, and then that will remove some of the color, and then mm. it's like, okay, go back again. Yeah, yeah but like, I think so, it's the Copic way as yeah. well. You know what I mean? Like, you, you end up drawing things, and then you sort of... You need to wait f yeah, for, for it, it to, to dry, dry a, a little bit. bit yeah, because when it sets, it's like you won't lose the, the hard lines no, and stuff exactly. like that. Yeah. And that's what hard I really... Edges. Exactly. That's what I really, really enjoy with it as well. Mm -hmm. Being able to go back when it's dry with yeah. a little bit of water to manipulate the color again. Mm -hmm. Like you can always go in and keep working on mm -hmm. it, which is like, it feels great. You know, but yeah. it is, it's so much work. Like yeah. that's, that's become the thing now. You know, it's like daunting. That but I think you got to learn to love that. Yeah. When you learn to love that, that speeds up. You know exactly. what I mean? It's when you fear the work load but, that you become procrastinating exactly. and sort of. Yeah. Now you need to be like, mm. you do the work so you can rest rather than rest to do the work. Mm. You know, it's like, oh, I'm just going to rest today so I can do it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, you, just dive in and start. Yeah. And then, and then you can relax. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, something I love about Copics though, uh, on the, when we... What, to make sort of fades in Copic mm. or hard edges. Like there is nothing better than, you know, when you've painted the image already, like you, you put like the base gray, let's say, let's use gray. You have this like base gray, but then you you want to sort of draw like a hard edge, like where the where the jawline is, you mm -hmm. know, or like the cheekbones, Cheekbone. cheekbones yeah. meet the jawline. And like you want that hard edge and you've painted it, but then you, you, you put this like darker stroke there, like re really deliberate dark color that just sticks out. Mm. And then you take that bright Copic again and then just start painting the whole area. And, and then you smudge it out. You, you spread it out, yeah. but you keep like but when you're painting, line. but that line, yeah. you put more work there. Yeah. And then, you know, where the place where you want it to fade, you're just sort of like painting over it really fast. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Just like nonchalantly moving past that, like you're you're not putting color there, mm -hmm. and that's sort of like how the color just sets in the paper when it dries up, and you get that really nice, nice smooth, smooth yes. thing. I love just that. because of that confident thing that you did, yeah. Where you just like you put a lot of color there because you know it's gonna spread once you start painting the whole thing again, mm -hmm. and you just have that. That is such a magical feeling, and yeah. I, I miss that because I haven't painted with Copics in a <laughs> while now. But, I mean, that's achievable with the gouache as well. No, no, it's the same thing. Even simpler almost. Like, you just, like, so smear what, the color there yeah. and then take a little bit of water and, like, mm. the other way. And then yeah, you, yeah. there you go. Like, well, it's not that easy. It's, but yeah, yeah. it's that easy. But it's that easy, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. It, it, but this did sort of reignite a little bit more of the creative energies mm. in me. Uh, I still have a hard time getting, like... You know what I love about it, though? Is that you can fucking paint over. Yeah. Forever. So, so fucking yes. satisfying. Yes. 
so so it is really nice when you paint something and then you're like, no, I want grass in front of that. Mm-hmm. I didn't think about that before. And then you like, just add it. Right? Yeah. And, and it it's just there. It covers everything. It covers everything. And, and you get this sort of like, oh, but that's in the distance and this is mm-hmm. in front. And, you know, like it's such a nice to get these like layerings with the middle ground, foreground, background. So. Yeah. No, I love that it's it's this perfect blend between acrylics and watercolor. Like you can really. <laughs> but the worst thing is that you can paint over your own work. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? And, and like l- ruin it. Like, oh, the water kind of like went past this area. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. But, but like oil colors, you know, when you're painting something and you just like, oh, I ruined everything. You know, like. Yeah. Like the Renaissance masters. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, just good to be back in the uh, in the creative chair again. Mm. And then uh, that sort of made me go back to the Turtles poster this morning because like, well, I need to touch it again, sort of. I need to just keep working on it. Like I said before, I need to push myself to just get it done. Mm. And then now getting back onto that after this long hiatus, it mm. is um, almost the thing that we've been talking about before when you can... Like you step away for a little bit, then go back and you see the faults or like the the mistakes or some stuff that you need to change. It's Mm. exactly that. When I went back now, I'm like, why, why did I keep this gigantic, big, dark area? Why didn't I like get something else in there? Like I don't have splinter in there, for example. Maybe I should just add splinter in some way. But he's a rat. Yeah. He's a radical rat. Should have put (laughs) Oh, dude. (laughs) Messed it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, he taught them to be ninja teams. Yeah. So, um, a ninja team, though. Team. Started. Yeah, it's a ninja team. taught them to be ninja team. Because it would be weird if he taught them to be ninja teens. <laughs> no, but he's like, he's an old man, so he, know, he knows what he the knows. He <laughs> knows what the teens uh, are. He knows. Yeah. <laughs> he taught them to wear ninja, ninja jeans. jeans. That's yeah, what I heard. Exactly. As well. <laughs> I was never good with lyrics, okay. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see if if I ever get a chance to go back to that poster again. Dude, I we'll tried see. painting this weekend. Well, y- at least you tried. I did try, and then I bought Tsushima. <laughs> <laughs> and with that said, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Like, yeah, like, let's do it. <laughs> 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 and we're back. I mean, we're back. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Sushima. Huh? Sushima. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Uh, the ghost of Sushima. The ghost it's of Sushima. finally here. The day I have been waiting for forever. So long, in fact, that I've kind of forgotten the game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but you actually, that's the only game you've actually finished. In and very, kept playing. And kept playing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm I'm kind of still playing it, to be honest. Like, like it's a still, bit I didn't. Of an uh, off thing. Yeah, I haven't removed it. It's still, like, every once in a while, I need to go and just kill some Mongols. I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> not sounds. because I'm racist, but because I'm Japanese. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Um, no, I uh, I love that game so much. But uh, enough about me, um, dude. It is a cool game. It's a really they really did capture that essence of. Uh, the, the Japanese era. Yeah. If and also the Japanese like, era is anything like that. But <laughs> like being an actual samurai. Yeah, like, it is really I think cool. it's so, so cool. Like it feels so genuine in that way. And especially, well, what we talked about mm. before, when you walk into the village and like yeah. call them out rather than go stealthy and like start the, chopping. I like that there, the option exists. Yeah. And that they really sort it's of... It's not like you're doing this wrong. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like go the, ahead. <laughs> if you feel that cocky, go in and chop them, you know. It, and it, and it's such a satisfactory thing as well mm-hmm. when you get to – because the first – like if you do what Robert said where you go into the village and call them out, uh, then you, you get to do this like one slash duel and it's pretty fucking epic. And yeah, it really has that samurai mm-hmm. vibe, you know, where it's just like – you just look at each other and 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 they really emphasize that with key characters mm. you stand in like the tall grasses and you're looking at each other 
and the guy does his pose and you do your pose. It's and then very you're... cinematic. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And you get this zoomed out mm-hmm. picture of them staring at each other. And, you know, your guy, Jin, he just like flicks the sword <laughs> open. Yeah. And that's when the duel starts. And it's such a like, great. Yes. <laughs> it's such a great feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, dude. And they have like the game is full of like epic scenery. So if if that's what you go, you're going for with bamboo forests and stuff like that, that game it's has, all there. like yeah. we've said it so many times, but if you go into the photo mode in this game, you can set up some really amazing samurai shots. And the shots. photo mode in this game is really good. So good. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. You I can just, do so like, much with it. Yeah, I just placed my character. I like I didn't take any photos. I just looked at it. But you can like, do like God, gifs and damn. stuff as well. You can yeah. have you can have like <laughs> I didn't know they moving were. uh falling leaves like oh, if you set up a yeah, yeah, like yeah, a cool yeah. like screen pose, saver, yeah. But then you have like yeah, falling leaves like that continuously fall and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, it's fun to like explore. Mm-hmm. I never really go into those. No, I never but do either. But with this game I actually dude, did. Dude, Spider-Man as well. Like mm-hmm. have you seen the shots that people have taken in no. that game? They're amazing. They're like pieces of art. Cool. Yeah, because it has a lot of filters and stuff you can play around with. Yeah. But this game, for concept artists or anyone that just wants to draw cool samurai shit, it Wasn't has it a Chris lot. Wasn't it Chris Abug who, uh, like, she got this uh, She got this game to get past a, a block with a game she was working on, I think? Mm, like, I don't remember. I think she mentioned it, mm. and we geeked out a little bit about it, or maybe... I don't remember. Uh, I think it was Chris Abug. Anyways... Uh, Go back and listen to that episode. Yeah. It was awesome. But, uh, yeah, so her work paid for the game because mm. they were like, oh, but this is type the type of inspiration we want you to have. So, like, here's, here's oh, the game. Oh, that's how you mean. Okay, yeah. yeah no. uh, but, yeah, she played it for one day and already was like, yep, yeah, I know what to do now. Mm. Like, that's no, but, it. But that's the best so thing about games. And, like, I haven't drawn in a while now. Mm. Like, I don't know how long it's been since I actually drew something new. And I've just chosen not to stress about it and not care. Uh, but, like, I tried this weekend because I got the urge. I was like, ooh, shit, I'll get some time. My daughter wanted to draw. Her cousin was over. We drew together. I managed to just, you know, doodle a few small houses with ink. And they drew, you know, the lo- Fanta logo. <laughs> and then they ran away and they were going to go play something. And I was like, I don't feel like drawing. So I just downloaded a game and being where I am right now with work and like the workload has been so high that I'm very anti everything. Mm. And just playing video games is such a nice way to, you know, be in this sort of creative environment because I don't only see the game. Like I see like the the work behind it, you know, and yeah. the, the attention to detail and movement and animation and everything is so awesome in this game. And it also takes you away from all the thoughts that have to do with performing and drawing and social media yeah and uh, so that, that's another good way to sort of like offload your mind yeah. when you can't yeah, yeah. it's uh, the perfect escape yeah. really because i feel like if i if i if i kept drawing right now or pushing myself to draw and stressing about it i feel like i am very close to burning out you know mm. what i mean but if i just choose to accept the situation like i don't want to draw right now and just play video games and, you know, like just relax for a bit because I do draw on a daily, you know, at yeah. work. Uh, it's very nice to just play video games and unload everything. You like Because when I play video games, I go all in. Mm. Like I have headphones on as well now since I have like kids screaming in the background. Of course. And you just get so immersed in the world yeah. that I don't think about anything. I don't think about the lawn that needs mowing or, you know, like the garbage that needs to be taken out or anything. You're just (laughs) so immersed in the world that you're playing. And it's such a nice way to relax. Like that's talking to a shrink for me. Yeah. Being able to block out my thoughts for a while. And then when you come out of it, like, like taking the dishes out or nothing feels like a problem. You know what I mean? Like, no, you've been cleansed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, mm-hmm. in, in a manner of speaking. Mm-hmm. But this game really does have some awesome storytelling and like visuals, like stunning visuals that I do recommend everyone check out, even if you don't finish the whole game. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, just play it. But would you say that it's worth uh, the high price? Oh, tag? shit, yeah. It was super expensive. Like, <laughs> it was like... 80 bucks because it's almost uh, like half a year old now yeah it's old uh, so yeah it was totally worth it it's fun there you go and I would say 
just like no matter what level of difficulty you prefer to play it on, it's a great adventure. Like, yeah, yeah, you can play this super super difficult if you want mm. because, like, even playing on the normal mode is kind of difficult. Well, for me at mm -hmm. least. So, uh, playing on uh, easy or story mode yeah, yeah, yeah. is uh, that was the way to go for me, and I still had so much fun. Like, it's still difficult, but just not difficult enough you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just perfect for me it's, yeah <laughs> yeah because now i'm playing it on normal like when i'm replaying it and it's become like all of the bad guys are more difficult now because uh, like they yeah. increase yeah. you you get to keep sort of your skills so they keep their skills sort mm. of so it's uh, extremely difficult. Like I get <laughs> killed so easily now, it's insane. Well, back to normal rot mode, I guess. But trying to just stay cool and yeah. Yeah, this game is all about keeping your cool. Yeah, and it really forces you to take it easy mm. so many times. Like with uh, the haiku part of it, for example. Mm. Like if you want, My you can really <laughs> yeah, but you can really invest in that. Yeah. Like, and uh, try to make a proper nice haku. Uh, for me, it was more like, because you get, it's it's always three parts. Yeah. And you have uh, three to four different words that you choose from. And it's always like, okay, where am I now as Jin in the game? Mm. And what do I feel I need to sort of meditate on? Yeah, because you then, always have like meditate on death. Exactly. Meditate on Yeah, samurai. when you're taking yeah. the bath. And it's always him just sort of sitting there and releasing these sort of mm. the stress. It's like, but it really, you get into that part of it yeah. as well because the game is so immersive that yeah, you yeah. relax when he's like in the bathtub and just like. <sighs> and Robert can relate to the bathtub. Oh, thing. yeah. He's like, it's too big for a bathtub, but I'll accept. Yeah, it's a bathtub. Spring. <laughs> Spring tub. <laughs> it's a tub. But yeah, all of that stuff sort of calms you as mm. well. And it's really cool when, when you get into like the really, really big battles mm -hmm. and you need to charge up before them. Like you do that because you want to sort of increase your health and you want to do all of this. But yeah. the character in the game is aware of that as well. So he's mm -hmm. also like, okay, meditate on the battle ahead. And then he's like really with you there. Mm -hmm. Like it's so cool. Uh, the way they've built up this whole game is really fantastic. Like... I've, I've, when I started talking about this game, mm. I was head over heels, and I like talking about it now. I feel like I want to go home and play it again. And play it again, yeah. Like it just, for me, it is one of the most perfect games ever. Uh, uh, it feels like it was made for me. Like it's exactly the type of game I want. Yeah. So now I'm just happy that you were playing it too. And the voice acting is so oh, good. So good. So good. Yeah. Apparently and it, and the English sounds, is so much. It's better than the Japanese. I play on the English. I play on the English yeah. one because uh, I didn't want to read subtitles. I, I have subtitles on yeah. for some stuff because I don't want to miss it's like, actually, if I don't understand. Or the mouths the, are yeah. speaking English. So when you switch to Japanese, it's, it's just bleh, yeah, bleh, moving. It's like a Japanese yeah. dub. It's, uh, but yeah, it is... Uh, it's so good. The voice actors are great. The English voice actors are they Japanese? Oh shit! Um, I because yeah, it does I think sound so. like they are like so. genuinely. They have like a genuine yeah. Japanese accent, accent. yeah, mm -hmm. and it's so good. And Jin's voice is perfect. Yeah, like, like winds calming the waters. You know, yeah. it's so good. It's like, <laughs> wow. It's just like yeah. every time he has like a monologue or something, and and the best thing is I don't always agree with him. No, you know what I mean. Like yeah. he says stuff and like. I know that it's coming based off of, you know, like Japanese philosophy and stuff like mm. that. And it's interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they all say stuff that I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I also see where sort of like anime is coming from. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Actually, like Because yeah. anime is like an exaggerated version of self-reflection. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's no nothing more annoying than self-reflecting anime characters, you know, because <laughs> they always talk to themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. and ponder the big life questions. Exactly. Whereas most of us just live them. Yeah. <laughs> they and, say and them out loud to themselves. Them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and it is like in this game, it's very sort of like very balanced and, you know, n not normal, but still kind of okay, you know. But in anime, it's so annoyingly... <laughs> Like someone standing like 
Enrique Iglesias at a, on a, like on the side of a pillar looking at someone they love and talking to themselves, you yeah. know, and and rain and, and rain, yes, <laughs> and that tear coming down. Oh maybe. man, the Captain yeah. America tear. Yeah, <laughs> the cap, the cap. <laughs> <laughs> but it is like this game is so well done, though. Like, and I really, but but every story you encounter is so dark. Yeah, <laughs> it's like this beautifully lit nature thing, and but everything is just terrible. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, if you start no, strolling no, no. around, yeah. just not even going story. Exactly. All just, of a sudden, you just reach this. Oh, there's a crucified dude that's been burned. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just all over the whole place you where you realize that. So dark. Yeah. These poor people. Like, mm. because this is something that kind of happened in history. If I like, I don't remember. think it's based off of, but I think it, it has inspiration from real from, like, invasions. But yeah. you can sort of imagine what it would have been like in that. No, dude, age definitely just like, like the Mongols ravaged, mm-hmm. or like, just well, everybody ravaged everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but I mean, the Mongols mm-hmm. were, you know, oh yeah, they, they were, were good at it. They, they took over really almost the whole good, fucking yeah. planet, man. Yeah, the crazy. Khan family just went. How much crazy. of the, how much of the world did they? A lot. It was like I don't know. Yeah, it was but crazy. there's a really good documentary on that. I Probably. just don't remember the name. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. Kotul Khan. Yeah, mm. such a great bad guy too. Like, it'll uh... luckies if he was evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's always the bad guy, isn't yeah. he? <laughs> <laughs> Japanese luckies, <laughs> Mongol, luckies. Oh, Mongol luckies. Mongol luckies. Mongol luckies. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means Mongo. Yeah, in yeah. Greek. Oh, really? Almost. Oh my god, like, Mongol luckies. <laughs> I'm not sure. My Greek is a bit rough. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible <laughs> <laughs> in every kind of way. Yeah. It, or maybe yeah. it's just a Swedish sounding thing that <laughs> makes it feel right. So Lakis is my sister's uh, boyfriend, just mm-hmm. so you know. Mongo Lakis. Yeah, from now on. <laughs> he is kind <laughs> of a Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, by the uh, way. Uh, one of the camps that I, I, because I, I made a Mongolian uh, slot game at the the place that I am now. That mm-hmm. was the first game I made for them. Mm-hmm. And I really enjoyed this because they did a lot of, like, like I, I studied up a bit on Mongol sort of culture and stuff just to, like, get into the headspace of, and, and, and I really like this, like, throat singing that they do. The, and, you know, there's, yeah, like, yeah. metal bands and everything mm-hmm. for it. And in our game, when you sort of win, or like when you're about to get into the bonus game, we have this part where when you win, you get this like, oh, you know, like when you <laughs> win, you get this like throat singing. Cool. And <laughs> that was just like something fun that we, that I heard. And I was like, maybe we should have some throat singing. Just like when you get that, you hear that like, oh, mm-hmm. And we did, and it was awesome because it's like a drawn sword in the game. Yeah. And then that happens, and it's like bonus game. And, <laughs> and it was such a cool thing to be able to implement. And now running around there, I, I come up to this sort of Mongolian camp, and they're throat singing down there. Oh, it really? Was so cool. Yeah, <laughs> it was so cool. I yeah. was like, I want to be part of the Mongol. <laughs> <laughs> Let me throat sing. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. Like the amount of like, I don't know how much they've gotten right, you know, but the inspiration and the respect is clearly there. Yeah, it's very yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. They really did their homework mm-hmm. and uh, put the time and effort in. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think you've experienced a few bugs, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With like yeah. limbs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I cut off a guy's arms, but he had both arms on him and there was a third arm that <laughs> fell to the ground. I was like, what the fuck? Well, so I cut off his spare arm. <laughs> don't know what happened. So maybe you just helped him out. You know, it was like you cannot have third arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> so bad. But uh, it, it's a great game, and I yeah. do recommend <laughs> everyone that hasn't tried it. Yeah, to try it out for uh, PlayStation Four and Five. For like four, four yeah. five. Just yeah. It's I think it's only for five, the four. But you can play it on the five. But you can play it on the five. So, awesome. Go get it. Have fun. Slaughter people. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So what, what have we seen? So what have we seen? I, I have seen more burn notice. You've seen more burn notice. And everything. And the only thing I have to say, I'm on the last season. Mm-hmm. I've seen about three episodes. And what I've noticed after six seasons of burn notice is that what I'm watching a modern burn day. Noticed. Burn <laughs> notice. <laughs> Very nice. That was the best. That is, we've peaked, people. We've peaked. <laughs> burn notice. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. When I burn noticed. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> oh, damn it. What I noticed is that I've been watching like a modern day MacGyver. Oh, okay. And then oh, I man. laughed. Dude, it all makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. And then I laughed and then I noticed that there was a show, a modern day MacGyver yeah. does exist. Yeah, yeah. I, I Totally. I, I remember it, it was on announced, but I've never seen it. I think they had it on channels or TV6 or whatever. Dude, the channel. I haven't had channels in years now. Yeah. Uh, no, but this was back in the day. Because oh, okay. it's not super new, I think. I think it is. Yeah? Yeah, it has like four or five seasons. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, and yeah, so. So you're diving the, into that. The, the Burn Notice <laughs> show. <laughs> the MacGyver Burn Notice. Yeah. Also has an actual MacGyver show somewhere okay. in the world. So yeah, that's yep. what I discovered. Nice. But uh, I mean, Burn Notice for me is the the perfect MacGyver. Like, yeah. It's got that sort of uh, that right type of humor and mm. darkness to it, and well, it gets more. It gets happy. dark. Like, like no, no, it gets darker. Okay, yeah. good, 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 good. good. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk today, um, but I can't see myself going back and finishing it. Like, uh, I, if you have nothing else and you kind of, I, I have it in the background while I work. That's the thing. I, like, I, I don't if, look If I at had it. that type yeah. of job that I could do that, I would probably, mm. like. That is the best part about my job. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just sit there and watch Bird Notice. Or Six Seasons of Buffy. Or whatever. Or yeah. So yeah. I've seen a lot <laughs> of shows lately. <laughs> yeah. No, I've only watched, like, stupid stuff. But I did finally introduce Star Wars to Santa. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of a big deal. I was actually a little bit nervous for some reason. like Nerd. Yeah. I keep forgetting, like, how much Star Wars means to me on a personal level. I'm not the biggest Star Wars geek in that sense. Like, I don't know everything about everything in Star Wars. Yeah. But, like, I really wanted her to like Star Wars because I'm going to keep watching Star Wars. And uh, so the way I sort of... Easter into Star Wars was through Rogue One. And Rogue One, if you haven't seen that, it transitions perfectly into A New Hope, which is the first Star Wars movie ever made from 77. Mm -hmm. And they sort of almost go seamlessly together. And I haven't uh, I haven't watched them back to back ever. So I wanted to see that and also use that to pushed for or sort of forced that on Santa Mm -hmm. to just sit down and fucking watch Star Wars. Uh, So we did. And she enjoyed the the real Star Wars, so to speak, more than Rogue One. So that's a good sign. So she's definitely wife of material. And we're talking about the Lucas one, like the new ones, right? (laughs) The new ones. (laughs) The the, the, the (laughs) shit, what do they call? Episode four. (laughs) <laughs> it's the one. Okay. I know. Yes. Yeah. yeah, don't be an ass. <laughs> <laughs> she loves Jar Jar. Mm-hmm. Her mm-hmm. favorite character is Jar Jar. I'm sure she will. <laughs> but She's like, isn't he cute? He's like the cutest. He makes Yoda look like... No. <laughs> what I do hate is... Well, we watch them on Disney+, Plus, mm-hmm. uh, but they only have the special... The newer ones. You remember oh, the re-release? Yeah, yeah, the recuts. With like yeah. the extra digital things and... yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. For me, it always takes me out of it. It destroys the whole thing. Mm. Like, I've I've learned to hate it more than anything. Like, I can understand what he wanted to do, but it feels so forced. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was so perfect before they added all the extra CG stuff that is now very dated, by the way. Oh, no. So it just doesn't feel like... That sucks. Yeah. I would have rather brought up my old VCR and played the VHS one. You don't have them on DVD? Yeah, I do, but okay. the, I I actually only have those special ones. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So yeah, I yeah, want yeah. to get uh, I want to get uh, the big 
super the saga yeah, box yeah, yeah. at some point but it's so fun but it's expensive. the new stuff right it's with the new and the old like oh, the, okay, the okay, whole okay, okay, yeah. uh, what is the skywalker saga i think okay, so cool. you have like one to nine uh, but i think in that one they have um the three theatrical versions as well so you have that's like, cool the og stuff but um but yeah <laughs> so introduced and um uh, so far, so good. She wants to see uh, the Empire Strikes Back. Nice. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens after Shit, that. Where does the first one end? The A New Hope. You mean like the? Yeah, yeah, yeah the one you did watch. Like, well, they the, blow up the Death Star. Like, spoiler alert. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> what? So, no, they made the the first one. It's almost like its own movie. It fin- it's finished with they blow up the Death Star exactly. and then there's a ceremony and they get the medals. Oh, the medals. That's where yeah. it ends. Yes, thank you. So it's like, you know, if it tanked, it was still like a good solid one movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah one, yeah. But uh, yeah, it changed the world and, you know, try finding somebody apart from Santa who hasn't seen Star Wars That's today. That's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, it is. that is so weird. <laughs> like when people tell me they haven't seen Star Wars, like you have to have ended up seeing it somehow. Mm-hmm. Like it was on TV all the time when I was a kid. Yeah. Like especially during the holidays, you know, like Gremlins, that shit. Like it was Indiana on. Jones. Indiana Jones, For like sure. yeah, like to this day, I think maybe that's yes. still going. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, it's such a classic yeah. sort of Christmassy type thing. Mm-hmm. But it's also on during the summers and stuff as well. Like, it's always on. It's always on. It's always on. Like, I think Indiana Jones, more than anything else, yeah. like, has been on TV, yeah. at least in Sweden. <laughs> yeah. But it's also, like, timeless classics. Yeah. You know? You, uh, they really can't make them that way anymore. There's something about, like, just the feel and texture of those type of movies. And mm. I don't know. There was But I think it is magic. the... I think it is the... Like that CGI is there, yeah. so easily accessible that mm. people choose to take that path. Yeah, like it's so much easier, but then you don't get the same type of result for it. No, it gets the plasticky. Yeah, exactly. Type of that that's yeah. what it feels like. It feels yeah. very so. That's why I appreciate the the companies that actually manage to do both, mm. where it just seamless. Like, was that CGI or was that? Yeah, exactly. Like. You don't when you don't think about when it. you don't have to think about it exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna go into a DC rant, <laughs> but when it, when it's not when you don't think that it's a movie, that's the best part. Yeah. Uh, so, hmm. yeah. But yeah, yeah. So so yeah. Star to keep Wars. us posted, that's so, gonna be the the retro <laughs> the retro cliffhanger. Uh, <laughs> like, what did Santa think of the next one? Yes. The Empire Perfect. Strikes Santa. Awesome. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And that's going to make uh, make her have to watch them as well, which is great. Like, we need content. <laughs> exactly. You got it. Uh, everybody's well, waiting. <laughs> there are tons of girls waiting to see these movies with me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but apart from that, uh, I haven't really seen anything. Like, nothing worth talking about. Just mm. sort of. I saw Love and Monsters again. again. Well, I mean, it was equally, equally good. good. <laughs> was it better or equally good? No, it was just really good. Like I, I don't know. Did you like, pick up on stuff that we might have missed? No, because no. I watched it with my son, oh, so okay. I had to keep telling him not to look away and like look in his candy bag. <laughs> like we were, he <laughs> like. I was like, now is the time when you look. Oh, you know. By the way, the most powerful scene with the ant. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, the first like powerful scene. My mm-hmm. wife went away to get an ice cream. Of course. I was like, yes, let's ruin this for everyone. <laughs> like, my son won't pick up on it in that same way. Of course not. But she would if she hadn't walked away. Yeah. <laughs> so I paused it. Or no, I didn't pause it. She just came back, and then that scene happened. So she got to see it ah. when it finally did but start. Not, but not so, the build. But not the build up mm. to it, which was Ugh. super annoying. Jesus. Maria. Yeah. Maria. Por qué? Por qué? <laughs> Por qué? El ice cream. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, but it's um, such a powerful scene. Yeah. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Let's uh, tune let's, in to this week's. Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Invincible first? Invincible first, yes. So, spoiler warnings spoiler for warning. everyone 
<laughs> that does not work. Jim. Oh, we, no. But yeah. yeah. Spoiler, J- alert. spoiler alert. <laughs> For Invincible and the Falcon. Winter Soldier and Falcon guy yes. together exactly. fighting crime. <laughs> so go check them out, then come back and finish listening. Exactly. Because, well, we're, we're going to spoil. Yeah, we're going to spoil. We always do. So Invincible, episode seven. Uh, definitely a step up from the previous mm-hmm. episode. Like more epic. Yes. Like the scale. Like and they the really stakes. fucking ramped it up again. Mm-hmm. This show just keeps delivering and delivering and delivering. Mm-hmm. It's so awesome. I love this show. I keep saying that every episode. Yep. But seriously, like even now, seven episodes in and I've kept rewatching. Is it seven? Seven episodes. God damn. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better, and you're so invested now in all the characters. And yeah, it's really good for seven episodes. Yes, like it feels like I've watched this show for years. Yeah, same. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. And uh, just and like yeah. Omni Man's sort of almost like you almost understand what he's doing now. Like but we're not. so yeah. close. Yeah. I know. We're so close. Like just tell us why. Why did you do it? <laughs> Um, damn yeah yeah. like shit is they're really lining it up now for like the end thing and I and I love how extremely OP he is like they're throwing they're trying to stop everything at him and he's just like I I don't know if you remember the scene at the house with the invisible soldiers coming out yeah that That, was I was gonna bring that up as the first thing oh my god holy crap so beautiful yeah like and he just massacres like the lady that like the last one that he kicks out that's like twisted you see her like yeah Yeah. exactly you don't notice it at first when she's crawling away yeah (laughs) (laughs) exactly (laughs) with a broken (laughs) rubber band yes (laughs) holy shit yeah when you saw her legs like wait are those legs like is that torso like looking upwards there's something wrong with her her knees yeah wait a minute (laughs) that's not right so wrong So oh horrible. man! And it when he pushes so the dark. guy over the the counter, the counter yeah, that was beautiful. Fuck! Like just yeah, he split. pushes him so hard that gravity has nothing to say about it. Yeah, he like, just like gets cut in half <laughs> just over the counter. And then the and other then that he through. sort of just sort of flies into Dude, that the explodes. first. And also the f- oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah, and the the guy that he just takes and just <laughs> smacks down the first one. Yeah, yeah and just opens up like a fucking watermelon. You're yeah. like what? And then he shoves a gun through the head of the other guy. Like yeah, it's so everything. fucking dark. Yeah, loved it, loved it so much. But I love that they're not doing it all the time. No, exactly. They're really like when it happens, it's so brutal. It's super intense yeah. and just like. But then they let it go. You know yeah. what I mean? It doesn't happen again. Like, exactly. They just use it very well. Like just to Sparsely. Sh- yeah. yeah. And, and just to show how Omni-Man is a savage. Yeah. Because that's mostly when it's used, you know? Is yeah, when he, actually. Because I think <laughs> even when they're getting beat down and stuff, like, like they use it only on the most powerful characters to really keep the sense of power you know the yeah. the op of those characters like the cat in the previous <laughs> yeah <laughs> like exactly the oh, space man. cat <laughs> <laughs> no but it was really really fucking good yeah and um but no answers no answers <laughs> no answer like, just more questions i was like no no because yeah no he was so close to telling his wife in the beginning mm-hmm. and then still didn't i hated it i was <sighs> like I was so hoping for the reveal exactly. and then they just like, oh, no, 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 we're not doing that. Yeah. And just trust me. Believe in me. If you exactly. believe in me, it was like, oh, okay, we're not getting anything. And that that's sort of the thing that, that makes me want to believe that he is still a good guy, mm. that he has done this for a he bigger reason. He has a reason. motive, yeah. That, like I told you before, I think that maybe like – the um, the Voltramites, like the race that mm. the planet that he's from, maybe they are sort of the Hitlers of the universe, and they just want to take over everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they would invade if he wouldn't like be the 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 main the main or like just the only maybe that's yeah, what they want. Yeah, maybe, maybe. that. I don't know. But there, yeah, I think there is something there. There uh, is definitely. Something but it's there. just uh, this is just my own speculation. Who knows? Mm. That's the cool thing about this show that there's. It, there's no hint to anything. Yeah. Like, we still don't know. Maybe he just did go fucking rogue, psycho, 
and just kill them But it them doesn't all. feel like it, does no. it? No, there has to be some sort yeah. of motivation. Because he feels it. like a normal dude, mm. like trying to be a family man and all yeah, of that. Yeah. And so we'll see where it takes off, like where the, because I haven't read the comic mm-hmm. and I'm not going to look anything up now. No, same. I'm same. really invested in this I show. went into a sci-fi bookstore to to see if they had it so I mm-hmm. could get it, but they didn't. And I took that as sort of a, a you sign. shouldn't, yeah. you shouldn't get this. Like, no, you could get it after. Yeah. And they have altered, uh, it's not the same story. So yeah, they've exactly. made mm. like Changes. small improvements mm. as uh, Kirkman says. Mm. Like if he could go back and rewrite it, this is what he would do. So, yeah. And he's not writing the show. He's just producing it. Mm-hmm. So there's a, uh, I don't remember the name of the, the screenwriter, but I yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they're working together mm-hmm. and making it the best thing. And something that possible. we missed before was that they also are making a movie simultaneously mm-hmm. as we're watching the show. Yeah, that was, that was super weird. Like, so they both got green lit at the same time. So, and they're apparently like, they're not at all working together like it's a weird the one thing, is not yeah. affecting the other yeah. so to speak it's just a movie that is invincible and the show that is invincible but who's making the movie no same idea God. isn't it the same people i haven't looked into it at all but excited yes yes hopefully it'll be super amazing mm-hmm. but uh i mean we still have the show but dude, <laughs> it feels like this show is everything I wanted the DC movies to be. Mm-hmm. Like the, Some of the DC movies are pretty cool in the, like the standalone, but this show is really what you wanted them to be. You know what oh, I mean? Yes. Like it is it's I, like yes, such, it's, it's such a home run with so many things. And I like that they can take it this far. Yeah. Like, no, 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 they, they die. Like they die horribly. Yes. Because that's what superpowers would do if you took a normal person and flung him into a wall. Exactly. He wouldn't just bounce off it. He would just die. You yeah. Know, like, and like we're squishy inside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so I really like that. That's why I loved Logan as well. Yeah. Because they, for the first time, his claws, adamantium, the most powerful metal in the world, could actually be stabby. Mm-hmm. Especially and if it's pointy like knives. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So like within the first minute, you already have him say fuck and kill a whole bunch of people. Mm-hmm. Dude. Yeah. Beautiful. I, I remember the first time I saw when Wolverine hit someone with the claws mm-hmm. and they just pushed them. Oh, yeah. I, was I remember like, this story. <laughs> it just died inside. Yeah. So... The opening of Logan is such a redemption yeah. to everything that has gone before. Yes. You're just like, I was not expecting any of that. Like, those claws have been garbage for years. Like, he's drunk. He's cussing. <laughs> he's angry. Yeah. Like, everything that you know Logan yeah, yeah, yeah. as, that's him. Happens. Yeah. It's so perfect. Oh, fuck. That, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Oh, yeah, the retracting he, of the claws. Pl- yeah, and like there's pus coming out and oh. it's just so nasty. Yeah, but it's so powerful. Yeah. So good. It's like another, like the, the ant scene there from yeah. Love and Monsters. Yeah. Like it's like powerful sort of scenes that will forever be etched in my brain. Yes. <laughs> like really Very good. much so. Mm. Uh, and with Invincible having uh, the robot dude Oh, actually yeah. get his body now or his body his, yeah the clone <laughs> Rex like loads th- body <laughs> that whole that whole thing mm-hmm. was like it was really sort of touching as well like you get some feels mm-hmm. it's interesting yeah the it's, cloning was not what we thought it would be no <laughs> yeah yeah and um yeah it just keeps surprising me constantly and that's also super interesting like what's the What's his idea with this? Like, mm. is it only to get Monster Girl or is it something deeper that we don't know? Dude. Again, like, of course, getting a body, I assume, would be yeah, yeah, yeah. his primary objective. But, but it all feels so, like, it feels like they're going to leave us with a few cliffhangers, not mm-hmm. just the one. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And we gonna... still haven't looked up how many episodes there are in this, like, so. But we're really getting close to the end with yeah. the previous one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because how are they going to keep him off? I'm assuming it's a 10-episode thing. I hope so. Or maybe it's just eight. So maybe next time could be like... It feels like it could be. Because it is really like intense right now. But they're long. They're so long. 45 minutes. Yeah. I love love it. it. (laughs) (laughs) They're like movies. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's... And 
being animated makes it even better mm. you know uh that's always like i have to give people heads up because it is an animated show because i tend to talk about it a lot in the tattoo chair <laughs> because it's it's like always oh, by on the my way mind. It's, it's cartoon it's yeah it's a cartoon so like yeah. i keep talking about it and then like oh shit yeah before you dive in like do you do you like animated shows <laughs> you know just just in case mm. cuz it's animated <laughs> But yeah, I keep forgetting that it is because, yeah. But I love how they chose to tell this story about this kid getting his superpowers and everything, you know. And it's very sort of like, oh, we go to high school and I have a girlfriend and la la. And then like, oh, and by the way, my dad is murdering everything. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's so dark. Like yeah. it's so when it's not dark, it's so. Sort of lighthearted, you mm-hmm. know, and you have these like normal problems, and the colors are very light. Everything is so like bright, and yeah. everything. It's not like Batman, you know, or no. like the DC where everything is dark and everyone's broody. And no, this is fucking like it's bright blues and happy times. Yeah, with the occasional, you know, push someone over the counter and splice them in two. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and with entrails, <laughs> like not only that, it cuts them in two. It's just, yes. That there's stuff hanging out, exploding guts, mm-hmm. beautiful. Yeah, so it's a nice <laughs> balance, and I think that is the appeal of this show. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That yeah. that they they have both, you know, like no, just they have beca- everything. Yeah, yeah, and it feels normal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you get the normal stuff, yeah, and then you get the superpower crazy stuff as well. Yeah, no, they find the perfect balance mm-hmm. with everything. Like when it gets dark, it gets super dark. Mm-hmm. When it gets happy, it's super happy. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. so good, so good. Must applaud them. Yeah, but I'm I'm a bit sad because we're running out of shows, mm. and they keep postponing all the good stuff. Yeah, for some reason. What is it? I think it's June 9th is Loki. Loki, yeah. I think, and then and then did we? G- no, I think it's Black Widow in July. No, that's good, but that's a movie. Yeah, and then uh, Stranger Thing has been pushed from last like autumn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> To ne- December or something like yeah. that. What the fuck? Yeah. If we even get it then. Who knows? Well, why? Like, is it production or Maybe is it Maybe they needed done? to do, like, extra shoots. I don't know. And the thing is, COVID. we don't know anything. No. Because it could be just be, like, Black Widow that's been done for a year. Or, like, it just keep more, being... probably. Yeah, and mm-hmm. just keeps being postponed because reasons. They don't know how to release it. Like... I mean, they don't have anything to lose here. Like, That's what I feel as well. Because it's not like a big cinema thing that they're not going to be able to do. No, it it's, feels it's like a the, Netflix it, show. That's what it feels like. It's, it feels like a Netflix show. Really? Uh, is. <laughs> like, but, but I mean, Black Widow. No, no, no. I meant, about, uh, okay, okay, Stranger, I meant Thing. Stranger Things. But like, Black Widow also feels like one of those in-between yeah, things. That, but I can definitely understand the Black Widow thing because it is her first yeah, solo yeah, movie. Alone. And it's the first female solo movie. Exactly. Lead, well, Captain Marvel, but... Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. Forgot about so that movie. So <laughs> I understand that they probably poured a lot of money into it and they want to make that back, which is going to be impossible if you're only That's doing it through streaming, the streaming. Because yeah. I think Mulan made $70 million. Mm-hmm. Like That's still a lot of money for a sucks. streaming thing. Yeah, and it sucks. Yeah, so I'm assuming that... But what Black did Widow Raya win? make? Uh, no, clue. You know, no clue. No clue. Because it costs the fortune to watch. Yeah. I I a paid small for it. Fortune. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, fuck, I paid for Mulan too. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I yes. did. Maybe not pay for it. It came no, out for free. No, it came free. out exactly because it was out for a while. Because Raya was, was the ex- only one yeah. that I paid for. Yeah. It was super expensive, and then yeah, that's right. I watched it like the same day it came out. Yeah, um, I'm happy I didn't pay for it. Yeah, me too. Very very. I happy. would have been very upset if I saw that at cinema. Yeah, but I'm also happy that I paid for Raya. <laughs> yeah, because same. That was like, it was, yeah, that felt worth it. Yeah, that was good. Mm. Plus, we got Soul for free. And we well. were four that saw it. So really, oh, comparing go. to cinema tickets, that mm-hmm. was good. <laughs> I paid for one and a half people. Thank you, Disney. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see, like, what else do we have to look forward to? I've seen yeah. a couple of uh, sort of trailers for action f- movies that are coming out that look sort of promising there's a new one with michael b jordan coming out on prime i think this week that looks kind of cool like a show or a movie a ah, movie so there's a whole bunch of like movies that are coming out yeah but it's everything is just so quiet so 
Like, I ah. haven't. I haven't been keeping up. There's either. no hype for anything, really. I watch old shows. Yeah, same. I tried watching Serenity, the movie. That oh, show, yeah. but I just couldn't. No, no. I enjoyed it. it like, was, I tried. Uh, it freaked Joss me out. Sweden. Yeah. With the mind reading and stuff, but mm. I just fucking I got freaked out with the um, uh, the bad guys. Well, I haven't gotten that far. They because uh, right now it, I've only seen it the, gets super scary. Like the. the the black guy that murders the the professor when they free the the sister and he's trying to sort of see how they how they got away mm. like i don't he, remember he lets him fall on the sword uh, i can't remember okay yeah that's yeah Fuck it. i just couldn't finish it oh okay and it was i think they were going to remove it from via play or netflix or something oh okay like it only i only had to a certain date yeah and I just couldn't get into it. Okay. Uh, maybe I wasn't in the right headspace at mm. that very moment. I just have a hard time with the the main guy there, the the captain. I don't know why I don't like that actor. Yeah, I get like, that. Like I don't like he's not bad, but he doesn't feel like the the Han Solo type character exactly. that they're trying to portray exactly. him as. Because he was also, I think he was up for the Nathan Uncharted, Drake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Nathan Drake character. He did the and short. For, yeah, 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 exactly. But I just, he's not my like he. No, he he was he, fine in the short, but I would not have wanted him in the movie. I don't want him in anything. No, like that's the thing. I don't know why, because he seems like a good guy, but he just doesn't feel like an action star to me. You no. know what I mean? It would be interesting to see Tom Holland. As is he is he Nathan Drake or is he yeah and then uh, so Marky weird. Mark is oh yeah uh, Sully. Sully fuck that's right that's super weird that's a weird it's casting such choice a weird but I think had the movie not sucked or will suck mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I think it, it's gonna have the same problems as Tomb Raider oh uh, yeah it feels like one of those movies where they just want to make cool stuff without substance you know what I mean yeah uh, Tomb Raider could be a cool thing but they focus on the wrong things yeah. and they cgi jumping <laughs> and do yeah. weird stuff and then you're just like no no Mm-mm. 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 all right moving on to uh falcon and the winter soldier Kapow. the last episode jesus i yeah. um i freaked out super hectic i got up in the morning <laughs> yeah. uh so Santa starts work earlier on Fridays, which is great because that gives me time to watch my shows in the morning before I go to work so I can spoil the fuck out of them to everybody that sits in the chair. And this morning, there was like a delay of the release of the episode or something. Mm -hmm. So I freaked out. I like I wrote you straight away. I'm yeah, like, dude, like, there's no, no episode. episode today. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, what the fuck? And then I What's saw that? this morning. That's like three days later. <laughs> yeah, so sad. But uh, but yeah, so they re- released it later sometime. I don't know. Yeah. It was it was out there when I got home, so that was good. Um, but yeah, they uh, they tried to tie everything up. Mm. Uh, I think they rushed it a little they bit. They should have just made the episode longer. Yeah, that, Ma- that made the episode just a little bit longer, or made an extra episode, yeah. just so they could really take time with tying everything up. Mm. Um. All right, what what did you think like overall? Uh, except the in your face stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like I like the idea of it cuz you know, like the whole Cap- black Captain America thing. Yeah. But I don't like when they have to like address it all the time. Like mm. with these I'm not talking about the main scene where he holds this like super long speech about, No, that was like know, powerful and like, I'll buy that one. Yeah. What I didn't like was like Black Falcon. No, that's Captain America. Mm-hmm. You know, like that like, thing. We're like past the black thing now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. could have just skipped that part. Like, keep those things out of it. Like, yeah. just do the the key scene that you want to do, yeah. and skip those weird sort of moments that you just add for the reason of adding them, and sort of like it's like explaining a joke to someone. You know, like. Mm-hmm. Like, we get it. We did get it. Like, it's been throughout this whole show. You don't have to keep, like, telling like us what it is. Shoving it yeah. in our face. Like, yeah. <laughs> Just keep it as part of the story and don't make a big deal out of it in that sense. And exactly. It'll, and it'll be more powerful. That's exactly. what I'm trying to say. Yes. Like, it's like the powerful women of Star Wars. Had yeah. you not kept pushing that, they would have felt like the most powerful women of Star Wars. Speaking of that, though, 
like Leia is the only woman character in the first Star Wars movie. It's okay. insane. Yeah. Like I could see one or two extras. <laughs> that is so insane. But it's just just so, dudes. So throughout the whole movie. Like I didn't say anything to Santa. I wonder if that yeah. was like women didn't want to work on that show or they just like men didn't think about women being part of that. <laughs> Maybe both. Maybe both. Yeah. yeah. It's like, probably usually it's yeah, it's usually not the one or the other. No. It's like a mix of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, but but really like I both love and hate the <laughs> the Captain America suit. Yeah. And, and and the reasons why I hate it is because it looks like you know like a biker jacket some like that fabric. My problem is that the, the you can see that it's fabric that kind of bends and stuff mm. where I didn't get that feel when Captain America had his suit on. You know what mm. I mean? But like his I suit wasn't really that Suity. <laughs> no, it was more yeah. like a, a proper suit, kind of. Yeah, maybe it was a spandex type of no, suit it, that it wasn't. just sits, wasn't it? It was a little bit more loose, like it, more like an army remember. uniform than yeah, I don't anything. remember, but it, it just, just felt good. solid. Yeah. And this one feels like it bends in, like it feels like it's a costume yeah. for Halloween. Exactly. That's really well made, don't get mm. me wrong. But the way that, like, if if I'm going to give, like, a clear example, but Deadpool's suit mm. feels like it wouldn't, like, it does fold as well, but it just feels solid, yeah. whereas this one feels fabricated, you know, for mm. Halloween or something like yeah, that. Yeah. But it does have, like, the, the actual costume design is cool. It's the way that they present it, sort of, like, with the fabric and stuff, mm. that I'm a bit... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like it didn't work for me. No, I I get what you mean. But they did that with Captain America as well. The first one to the l- yeah. later ones. Exactly. It, it keeps getting better. They keep yeah. improving it. So yeah. I'm guessing so that. This but will... Black Panther as well. Yeah. That's what they should have made that suit out of. You know, like yeah, feel more... solid. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't feel like it wrinkles at the collar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this one does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was the only thing I could look at. Like the the <laughs> where the collarbones meet. And the, the sort of like the throat and everything. Yeah, like those the, parts felt like, yeah. yeah, it just felt weird. But it does look exactly like in the comic books. But like it's pretty. But that's what I want to say. Like impressive. All, but I really impressive. like the design of the suit. Mm. Like I just don't, I guess don't like the fabric. I don't know. Mm. It just feels like normal clothes looking like an awesome suit. Like, I don't know. Like yeah. it doesn't feel like it would hold up <laughs> in yeah. a fight or a pinch. But yeah, but, but he fucking rocked it. But though. dude, like, yes, damn. And I didn't like the the helmet part. Like no. I like the glasses and everything. We're past the suit now. Okay. No, I'm We're not past, past the, the suit. suit. <laughs> but he is. But overall, though, with the wings and everything, yes, awesome, good silhouette, very cool. Yes. Like, dude, when the wings are out, mm-hmm. he looks awesome. Like when he does all the different sort of like, like blocking with the wings and just like the new jetpack is so small. Yeah. Because. When the show started, it was like this big fucking thing, mm-hmm. and now it's this like super compact. Yeah, you hardly notice it. Because when he came through the window, I fucking rewinded. Mm-hmm. I was like, "How did he get in?" Because I <laughs> I was like, I just looked away for a second, and I was like, "Go back, look, and see it retract." Yes, so cool. Yes, mm-hmm. it was so cool. Like and believable, but totally not realistic. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Love it. The Marvel way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, 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 I really, really <laughs> and enjoyed rocking that. the shield too. Like really oh, yeah, the shield utilizing the... the shield and it's yeah. The yeah. chopper scene with the shield. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I loved that. Loved it. Um uh, but yeah, again, like all in all, I think like as a complete show, it's really great. It's mm. one of those perfect sort of Sunday action flick feels to it yeah, like yeah, uh, lethal weapon ish yeah but in the marvel superhero type of way uh, not at all like the best thing they've ever done but still very enjoyable yeah for, i could watch it again yeah like i too. don't have a problem re-watching this no. like good dynamic between the characters interesting characters winter soldier like <sighs> both of these characters were characters that i didn't really feel were so interesting much for, yeah, or same but now I really do love them. Mm. Like their dynamic is mm. so great, and the, like it's fun to see their friendship evolve. And like yeah. towards the end, the only thing like, I feel buddies. though is that Bucky was like they wrote him better. 
like for this show. Yeah, like I don't know. Apart why. from this last episode, to be but, honest, but uh, but yeah, his yeah, redemption that, thing. No, his like the that, whole thing was just rushed. Like it was all just because like, that's what I wanted to see. Him same here because they had a really the strong man, yeah, and really sort of breaking down, telling him about this thing. Yeah, and they just and they cut just it off. Of, yes. Skimmed it and then he closed the door and goodbye. Yeah, and then she opens up the book and he's crossed out all yeah. of the names and it's like, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it that was, easy. Yeah, no, 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 it sucked. It sucked. You should have just shown that he started. Yeah, that if you couldn't complete the whole thing, you know, exactly. within this episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, it's a big yeah. long journey, but he's on. He's it on. Now. No, he's yeah. actually exactly yeah, yeah. getting back his the thing. Yeah. Uh, because you could like he wasn't away from Sam at all, you know, mm. towards yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah. Like he was helping out with the boat, he was doing all this. When did he have time to go visit and tell all of these people? The all off of hours, bro. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he doesn't sleep. Yeah. He doesn't sleep. <laughs> it's not true. He sleeps. We saw it mm-hmm. on the couch. Um, but but yeah, all in all, um, I really really enjoyed it. I wish mm. again they would have just had one more episode to close things I off. think so I think so too like it felt very rushed I think from the last episode to this one mm. what they did with uh, Captain Weirdo Captain Cunt um, <laughs> yeah like US agent yeah did it, yeah you yeah, saw yeah, the, yeah I saw the, yeah. the extra this time good <laughs> I, I love his went... reaction though <laughs> like he really sort of geeks out yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah yeah fuck you. yeah yeah mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but but what I didn't like about his arc here mm. was that he just didn't feel like the same character. No. Like the last episode. You know what I mean? He feels off. Yeah. yeah he doesn't feel like they found his character yet, like yeah. entirely. But I think so that's I the that... point of his character as well. Like he's supposed to be sort of mm, not yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, but 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 I feel like. But you feel like he could snap like, at any minute as well. Yeah, but like, I think that they kind of lost that this time. Mm-hmm. Like they're like, oh, now he's fine, because that's what it felt like yeah, to me. Yeah. Like, because in the previous one he was like crazy, mm-hmm. and in this one he's fine. Like even when he fought this time, yeah. it wasn't as crazy. But wasn't there like a scene where he sort of realized that I have to be more like these guys, kind of? Like yes, with, but with it was Winter too Soldier. Weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what something. you mean. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he could run after her or save the the car. Yeah, the 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 armored truck. Exactly. But I just felt that it was just like it started too meek. Yeah, and he didn't have a real reason to care. You and know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like uh, just adding another one last episode would have would have saved helped. that yeah. probably. You I know? think so. I think uh, I because th- I feel like he got sane as mm. fast as. He the got, mother of dragon got crazy. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like it feels like that. It's they Game just, of Thrones did. They Game of Thrones yeah. did this episode. They got it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he got sane yeah. too fast. Damn. Like yeah. they should have good comparison. Cuz cuz there's not a lot of time from the last episode to this one that has passed. So no. why would the fuck would he balance out suddenly? Exactly. Uh, so I I would have loved them to go further with this. Mm. And, they and then him re- realizing, like, let's say he left the people to die. Yeah. And then he realizes later that, fuck, I, I fucked up here. Like, yeah. I am insane. I need to get yeah. better. Like, I, I need, need to I need to become Cap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And. Yeah, I totally agree. Like, but I think they also, they, they had so many sort of main characters <laughs> in the yeah. show to sort of focus on. So. Having them balance that out, it's still kind of impressive. No, no, they I, did. I do feel like the Flag Smashers were not really the bad guy at all. Like, they were just there no, to it was move an old the guy story with around. <laughs> yeah. And also the the power broker. Yeah. Like, ooh, it was Agent Carter. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we know, kind of. Like, I didn't know that. Uh, uh, just, like. But it wasn't, like, it was one of the main suspects, though. But yeah. it just, yeah, that, that ending wasn't so much fun. Not like, impactful. Not like at I all. didn't yeah. feel. No. No, it wasn't like, uh, uh, uh. Exactly. Yeah. It, it wasn't sort of like, it wasn't, I don't know. It wasn't, yeah, impactful. Like, it was very anticlimactic. Like, it's yeah. just like, oh, okay, I guess. I guess I'll slap, let her stop her and slap her around in the, the next one. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's something's going to happen later on. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she didn't feel like a. I, I like that she was part of the, like that she the, the the flag smasher. What was her name? The 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 girl. 
uh, uh, she was Kari or something. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kira, Kira, something Kari. with a K. Yeah, something with a K. <laughs> but I like that she was with her first, and then she wanted to do. You know, like mm-hmm. she left Agent Carter for Flag Smashers and wanted to have, you know, freedom for all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Smashing flags. Smashing flags. <laughs> smack, smack, smack. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was a bit boring. Yeah, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it was a it was a meh. Yeah, it uh, was a fat meh. I mean, the, but I the, feel like the show was really more about just evolving the characters, mm. and that's what they achieved. And there was more Elaine this time. Oh yeah, more Elaine. Like more of the character Elaine mm-hmm. rather than the actress. But also very short. <laughs> like right. I did it. Yeah. Or did I? Or did, did I not? <laughs> did I? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, get out. Like, and then she did get out, so I was good. Yeah. That's Disney, I guess. They're like, we need more humor. No, we need Seinfeld. Yeah, we need Seinfeld. But not Seinfeld because he wouldn't do this, so we get Elaine. Yeah. And and then in the next one, we'll have George but Costanza. Think, think, think. <laughs> 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 Tell him, Cap. Tell him. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that ruined everything for me. Mm-hmm. Like, she she just doesn't feel like she has that. She doesn't understand the humor. No, that they use in that show. Uh, it just feels like she's Elaine. just herself. Elaine. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's nothing bad. Like you know, the character Elaine was supposed to be the way that she was. You know, mm-hmm. but I don't want that in. <laughs> I, I can accept it in Seinfeld. I don't want it in. Yeah, I would watch Seinfeld if I wanted to see. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so I get that. So she felt un- unnecessary as well mm-hmm. in the show, but but yeah, yeah. it worked. Like Apparently all she's, in all, it, she's um, some sort of uh, super spy in the comics as well. Like cool. she has her own. She works with Shield. She works with Hydra. She's a double agent type thing. There's a deeper thing. So cool. at this stage, we don't know anything. Is yeah. she Hydra or is she George Costanza? Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> We'll see. But 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 <laughs> really enjoyed the show. All in all, though, I liked it. Yeah. Mm. So no bags. And also dicks. about the thing that Robert has been talking about, uh, about the show is doing really good. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, the, the yeah the, the, the woke, show the woke thing. The only thing that it was a YouTuber that claimed that eighty uh, percent or eighty three four percent of the people 82, watching. I think. Yeah. yeah, the second episode, like when they were going to pull a gun on them, f- like for, you know, a black being, guy arguing, black. Yeah, yeah, for arguing with a white person on the street loudly, uh, that 85% <laughs> or 82 <laughs> turned off the show at the same time. Mm. Like, I don't know what to believe. I, I don't believe it, but sure. I, I totally can get why people are tired of, you know, all these things being brought up also in, you know, popular media, but that yeah. is what popular media does. <laughs> yeah. And some do it really good and some do it like And this you know, was in your like face. recorded a while back too. Yeah. So like I mean it's gotten so much worse until it aired. Yeah. So I think that's also why. Yeah. Like I can definitely see people tuning out because they're like, I'm sick of this. Like yeah, but I, like, I personally feel that it's such a but it's such small a, part yeah. of the show that... But we have a different sort of mentality about yeah. that sort of thing on this side of the planet, mm. especially in Sweden. Like, we are very not at all feeling that type of hatred here. Or, yeah. I mean, it's easy for us to talk that. I mean, Paris, we're, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're not really dealing with any of that. <laughs> so, like, yeah, for me, it doesn't feel like a big big deal at all like it doesn't yeah. take me out of the show at all yeah if anything i find it more interesting and i think it's it's a great thing that they are doing what they do maybe sometimes they're pushing it a little too much a like too much in, yeah in this last is. episode for the last sure, episode is the it was just example. like being slapped in the face with it a couple of times yeah but like you still buy it because the show is good like yeah it doesn't and and i'm normally like that i don't go into the political side of things when I watch a show. Neither like, do I. I watch the that. show. Like, and that's just the thing. That's why I like it when it's subtle because yeah. it's more powerful. Exactly. When you tell people about, you know, something, it's so much better to do it subtly. You exactly. know, like let it grow like, on not them. not tell them. <laughs> yeah. 
like don't explain your jokes or whatever the fuck yeah. it is just trust that people will get it like imagine what uh aliens would be if they would be like oh look how powerful she looks in that suit of uh, robot thing and battling that female queen alien like those are two bad bitches <laughs> Or something. I'm just hearing that scene from like what is that stupid movie with Rob Schneider? Like Water Boy? No, no, the one where he's a gigolo. That's is that what yeah, it's called? Hollywood oh, okay. gigolo. I yeah, think. something like that. Yeah. yeah. And just like when that tall lady walks. That's huge kind of, bitch. Yeah, yeah, but every <laughs> but it's not only that. I think they're screaming like a lot of things. And that's yeah. what that in your face stuff feels like. <laughs> there it's done like a joke. But <laughs> movies <laughs> tend to do that where they want you like like as if you're not getting it yeah and they have to like emphasize it at every fucking i think it's more like oh look how good we are at At actually doing this exactly we're really bringing this to the surface to tell people about the society that we live in my back yeah yeah yeah, pat my back yeah it's more about yeah the the people that made it rather than the exactly yeah that they're it's like uh, no 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 mas no mas so just tell um, good stories yeah yeah But, uh, yeah, hopefully you have watched the entire show and hopefully you enjoy that too. And if you do, send us money. Yeah, because <laughs> we need it. We need it. And It's a pat on our back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will keep being woke if you give us... Exactly. Uh, we will add extra wokeness to this show. Exactly. For money. You look so feminine today, Elias. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Power It's to you. <laughs> it's the beard love the boobs <laughs> <laughs> the moobs oh yeah the moobs <laughs> yeah we don't know how to be woke uh, yeah, it's, not <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, definitely time to go I hear that song coming so uh, that song coming I don't know <laughs> no it's not that song it's not that song it's the other one it's the one that you sang Yeah. Um, yeah it's dumb, time dumb. to go. Dum dum did it go. Time to go. Dumb, like I, my Gunther socks today. Yeah. Again, it's like the third Monday in a row. No, it isn't. Yeah, I it haven't is. had these in three weeks because no. I just found them. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah, you had them last week. I didn't uh, have them last week. Ah, uh, the week before that. I don't, it was two weeks. Ah, uh, you've had them. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for listening. And uh <laughs> <You're> talking <laughs> about the socks. Got that socks. Nobody's looking at the socks. I, uh, well, I am. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. I'm getting out of here. I need to go. Yeah, I'm going to go home and play sushi. Do it. Sushi. Sushi ma. Sushi ma. Thank you guys. Have a great week. Bye bye bye. Motherfucker.